Welcome to Central Hardin High School. We're here for high school football action tonight. The one-in-one homestanding Bruins of Central Hardin, led by Coach Tim Mattingly, will welcome in the Colonels, Colonels of Henderson County, uh, led by Coach Josh Boston. And both teams are in need of a big win. Again, they're both they're both at one and one. And again, this could be, you know, kind of a season-turning event for either of these squads. So uh, we got a big ball game here at Central Hardin High School tonight. Uh, excited to be in the booth, excited to have some football action. As you guys may or may not know, uh, we have not, with Hardin County Educational Community Television, called a football game yet this year. We're in week three of KHSAA high school football action. Week one, for those of you who aren't aware, all of our area or local teams were out of town. Uh, E-Town was at Fairdale where they lost 14-12. to North Harden was at South Warren where they lost 48 to 38, and John Harden was on the road at Hancock County where they lost six to nothing. So, uh, and then obviously our, our Central Harden Bruins here were on the road at George Rogers Clark and got a win at 42 to 22. So, week one, nobody in town, and so uh, we we now last <laughs> last week got really interesting. I'm Paul Gray here to bring you the action tonight. My broadcast partner alongside me here is Jeff Nolan. Jeff. Uh, just recount for our audience uh, yeah. what we uh, all experienced last uh, Friday night. Last, I was just sitting here thinking during the national anthem a week ago. We were sitting here, and I think at that <laughs> particular time, uh, one nothing was happening on the field, and the, and the, uh, the the heat index at that point in time was still about 101 degrees, and so obviously we were kicked into a delay. And that kept kicking it back farther and farther. And uh, the last we heard about heat delay, it was going to be about 9 o'clock. The game time was supposed to start. And then lightning started coming yeah. our way. And so, of course, every time lightning strikes, you get a 30-minute delay. And that kept happening. So finally, I think it was about 9.30, uh, somewhere around in there, they just said, you know what, we're going to call this. And It was uh, about when the wind started gusting yeah, about 30 miles did, an hour. It, I, I, it was I, getting obvious. I got to give it to the fans in the stadium, though. Like, they hung in there, and I'm like, there's lightning, and they're sitting on these metal seats. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> they hung in there. The wind came, and the game was called. And so we went home. They ended up playing the next day at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That was a uh, that was a loss for the uh, Bruins. It was a 20 to seven loss to Dupont Manual. Dupont Manual, just a fantastic team out of Louisville, with a great defensive ball club. Central Hard made a lot of mistakes in the turnover game, uh, had some opportunities just to score, uh, gave up some easy opportunities for Manual, and Manual uh, walked uh, the Crimson. They walked away with the victory tonight, welcoming in a traditional rival, Henderson County. Now, Absolutely. listen, they're way down in the far end of the state, but. Yeah. There's a long history between these schools, both in the playoffs and in the regular yeah. season. Last year's matchup was a 38-22 victory for the Colonels uh, as, as Central Harden was uh, on the road last year. Very tight game in the first half. Second half was all Colonels. And so uh, that's a really good 11-2 Central Harden team. The two, one of the two was Henderson County. Henderson County was a 10-3 squad last year, uh, lost to Mail in the, uh, in the playoffs. So... Uh, two traditional rivals, two traditionally really good teams. Again, when you're playing 13 games in a season, right. you're winning some playoff games, you're a, you're a solid football team. Last year, Central Harden's loss in the playoffs was to the eventual state champ, and they lost by a touchdown. So uh, we had a great football team here at Central Harden last year, year. Uh, and couldn't beat Henderson County on the road last year. So now uh, we are – back for a, another round in this matchup. In fact, I've coached against Henderson County when I was a coach here at Central Harden in several scrimmages and playoff games. So the rivalry goes back uh, many, many years between these two teams. Great game. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, Jeff, just tell us a little bit about Henderson County's yeah. star player here. They uh, they are led by a stud, uh, Tradion Davis, uh, who is their QB uh, definitely at this point in time, he's the only one that scored any touchdowns this year <laughs> uh, for Henderson County. He's got five uh, so far this year, but an impressive record uh, when you look. I mean, this year so far, uh, 43, uh, 43 attempts, 136 yard, 43 passes, 136 yards uh, for passing. This that's, year. that's rushing. That's, or, that's the me, rushing. rushing. Yeah, that's rushing. the rushing. 43 I, I rushes. Backwards. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with five TDs. He's 19 of 44 uh, with two passing touchdowns this year. So, I mean, the dude is just phenomenal, yeah. and he is the leader of the team. I mean, last year um, he had, a, you know, uh, 1,210 uh, for 
yards and 14 TDs, um, and then rushing 784 and 11 TDs. So, you know, he's mm. all over the place. Yeah. Definitely their leader and who they're going to look to and the guy that will carry the load tonight. The real question for – uh, for Central Harden is, what is their answer for Trajan Davis? Well, that's a great question. And, again, number 11, Trajan Davis. That's who you're going to be watching here. Uh, as Jeff mentioned, 25 touchdowns last year, 11 rushing, 14 passing. He's already got five rushing and two passing this year. So, yeah, he, he's going to do everything for them. So I want to talk for a few, the answer to that. Uh, is, is Zach Spurrier, uh, yeah, the, yeah, uh, the again, uh, uh, Trajan Davis was their starter last year as a sophomore, obviously, as we mentioned. Right. Uh, Spurrier is a third-year starter um, here for Central Harden. However, the first couple of weeks uh, he has played in a limited role uh, as quarterback. He didn't play the first week against Clark County. Uh, played in a limited role last week because of the hamstring injury that dates all the way back to baseball season uh, right. last spring. Uh, we're still kind of interested to see how he's going to do. Here's the issue for Central Harden. I wanted to just give a shout-out to uh, one of our special seniors here at Central Harden. Talk a little bit about Caden Elmore. Caden Elmore, um, the senior, last year, went, uh, excuse me, last week went down with a hip injury, just thought to be a mild hip pointer. Not to go into too many details, there was some internal bleeding, spent much of the week in the hospital. Uh, his high school football playing days, come to an end he's home tonight uh, everything's looking good it's a head surgery um to uh kind of cauterize laser that uh, that bleed and uh, things are going well it's but um it's a tough blow yeah. for him yeah, yeah. I mean, and a tough I, blow for the team I, I was knocked out with an injury when i yep. blew out my knee my senior year to yep. get to play and man that that one lingers it really yep. does it's hard yep. so Best to you, Caden. Thanks yeah. for what just, you've done for this team. Yeah, let, let me uh, just go through a few things he's done for this team. This yeah. year alone, uh, eight tackles uh, on defense. He's a safety uh, as well as playing quarterback. At quarterback this um, this year, he's uh, 12 of 26 passing. That doesn't sound right. But anyway, 228 yards and three touchdowns in the passing game at quarterback. Rushing, five rushes for 36 yards and a touchdown. And when Spurrier was at quarterback, he caught a pass for 60 yards, um, so one reception for 60 yards. He is also tied for first in the history of Central Harden football with the most interceptions. Twelve interceptions in his career. Thought wow. that easily he would surpass that this year and, you know, maybe have five, six, seven, eight more interceptions this year. Wow. Obviously, that's not going to come to fruition. He will be first. He right. is number one currently, tied uh, uh, with 12 interceptions in his career, six last year, six the year before. And so I uh, just wanted to pay tribute to just a yeah. great young man and, and someone who's uh, given a lot to this program. Uh, his older brother Chase was quarterback here and uh, had, had a really great career. Hoping maybe he can come back and play some more sports for the Bruins. Chance he'll play year. some basketball in the, uh, in the winter. Um, so we're looking forward to that. And uh, just best wishes to Caden. And, uh, and now the Bruins move on without a uh, three-year starter at safety, without a, uh, you know, a, a very apt backup at quarterback. Um, actually, it's not 12 of 28. He's 12 of 18 passing this year okay. for 228 yards. So, uh, again, Kay Nelmore means so much to this program. Tonight for Central Harden, Zach Spurrier back in. Zach, 55 of 100 passing last year for 732 yards and eight touchdowns. That's last season's stats. 650 rushing yards and nine touchdowns, so equally a dual-threat quarterback. So the battle of the dual-threat quarterbacks, so we'll see a little bit of shotgun from both teams. They both like to run it. They both like to throw it. And um, ought to be an exciting ball game, like we said, traditional yeah. rivals here. Both coming in here at 1-1, one and one, both looking mm. for a big win to get up in the win column on their season and start it out right. So I, I think we're looking for a great matchup here. And uh, how do you see their offenses the, in differing one another? Well, again, both of them. Uh, uh, Henderson County this year, their, their victories over Meade County, who's a much improved team. It was a 35-34 shootout. Uh, last week they lost to a fantastic South Warren team. South Warren's been a traditional power for the last 10 years in the state, winning numerous state titles in that time. That was a 38-14 to defeat. So both teams have played very well against – on offense against, yeah. I guess you'd say, mediocre opponents. And right. then 
against fantastic opponents. Their offenses have sputtered a little bit. So we'll see who can get that going this evening. Big Just both. very excited to be on the air, Jeff. Know, Here we me are. Too, me too. It's week and three, and we're calling our first game. Go. And both defenses have given up some points already. They have, too, yeah, so. at times. Uh, traditionally, Central Harden, great defensively. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, especially last year, uh, the Hobbs brothers. Oh, they uh, were, yeah. Fantastic up front, uh, all along with now. yeah, Braden Robbins. We'll see uh, Tucker Walters still uh, yeah. back with the uh, defensive Tucker. front. The Peyton brothers, Peyton brothers Jeff, uh, Noah, and um, yes. uh, McKay yes. uh, will be out there for the Bruins uh, to lead this defensive squad. So we're about ready to go. Number seven, Carson Weiss to kick off for Henderson County. We're about ready to get underway. I feel like football season's just kicking uh, off, Jeff. Just but now for you and I, it is. Dog gone. Week here three, we and here we are for the first Maybe kick. Fantastic. Ooh. It's away. Uh, back deep, number five. Brandon Lee is going to take the kick over the right side. Cut back. Got a little space. Ooh. Breaks a tackle and another. Good blocking. Oh, there's a flag down. I think it's a block in the back. Great return out to the 40 by Brandon Lee. I think we had a block. It may have been number 41. That's a Seth Loudermilk. Hate to see that because it was right towards the end of the run and mm. it, it wouldn't have produced anything anyway. So absolutely, uh, sad to see that. And Coach Madeline talking to Seth about the holding, and so that will come back. Great uh, again, great return. Yeah. Um, starting field position though, not at the 40. Uh, I guess it was about the 38 because now they're going to take it. Well, 37 because they're going to take it at the 27 now. That is a spot fire, right? Yes, I think. Uh, yes, that's right. Yeah, so we got to the 40, but they'll start at the 27. First and 10, right hash mark. Tight end trips to the right. They're going to shift it, though. Tight end going to the left. That's McKay Payton at tight end. Motion now from Walker Meredith. Jet sweep Jets left. Nice. Got a few yards. Uh, not much there, though. Almost up to the 30. Mason Gardner battling with number five, Jackson Pendergraft in the backfield. Uh <laughs> Little extracurriculars there. Gain of three by Walker Meredith. Good start there uh, for the Bruins on first and ten. Jet sweep there again. Mason Gardner, the leading rush, number 22, 26 carries for 146 yards. He's a football player. He is a baller, and Walker Meredith has 117 yeah, yards this year. Right so there. I'll tell you, they are studs. It the is. Backfield. They are. Tight end left, motion across. They're going to trips that way. Sprint out pass. Looking no, downfield. Going, down. going to go over the middle. Off. Got McCabe. That's I'm sorry. That's Noah Payton. Good for the first Noah, round. good throw and catch. We've got about an 11 yard gain there. Pressed with Spurrier's ability to take his reads on that, mm. he did not. Uh, wow. He didn't cough it up. He he probably had about three different reads on that before he finally dumped it right. Absolutely. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. So great job there from Zach Spurrier. He was looking to the right, rolling to the right. He didn't like what he saw and yeah. came back to the tight end over the middle of the field. It, it was uh, it was at least a third read. It was. Good patience there. First and ten from the middle of the field, 42-yard line there. Shotgun formation. I believe it's Mason Gardner next to Zach Spurrier. Four-man front for Henderson County. Well, we have Coach it. Engstrand did not like Time whatever out. was going on. Yeah, the, the offensive coordinator for uh, Central Harden has a – Not like that at all. No, something going on here that uh, – probably a wrong alignment. He is not happy with whatever is happening there. I uh, want to give a quick thanks here to our, our crew tonight, uh, working with Ron Hartley, John White, Jackson Houston, and Gerald Walker. Um, got a great crew this evening. Uh, running our HCEC Hardin County TV production and um, wanted to give them a shout out to start the evening. And so, uh, first and 10. Here we go. Bruins back on the field, ready to go. Number 44, McKay Payton at tight end. Mason Gardner in the backfield in the slot. Walker Meredith in the wing formation is going to be uh, Brandon Lee. Ah, uh, we got offside. Walker Meredith yeah, jumps he early. Jumps. Got, it, got excited put there. It Step back. Yeah. We're going to be first and 15 here. So those are the kinds of things that shoot you in the foot, shoot, shoot really yourself is. in the foot. We got 10:27 to go here in the first, and especially coming right out of a timeout, yeah. you know, and you just yeah. do that. But well, first of the year jitters, maybe. It's their first home. Well, not next. Last week was their first home <laughs> game, but we didn't see it. Give to Mason Gardner. Nice. Big run off the oh left gosh, side. All kinds of room. Still rolling. Down to the 38. Yes. Wow. Man, he did not. He I love dipped that shoulder. 
and uh, got another 10 yards after dipping that shoulder. 24-yard 20, uh, gain for Mason Gardner. Uh, 22, they say, went out of bounds a little earlier than I had him, but 22 yards from 138 to the opposite yeah, 40. And the so they're into Henderson County territory. That was, nice. just a, that was just an off-tackle uh, zone, outside zone play, uh, straight up blocking, and, man, uh, they got there. They're going to switch the tight end. McKay Payton to the right side. Motion coming that direction. Hand off nice. to Walker Meredith. Good nice. cutback. All He's got space. One go, man to go. And down to the five. One. That would be uh, Trey John Davis that took him down uh, at the five-yard line. No, I'm sorry. That was number one. Uh, would, would be it one? John Banks. Yeah. Coin, Coin, Coin Banks. Banks. Yeah, Coin we're, Banks we're makes the play. He got there. 35-yard carry for Walker Meredith. Wow. Great start for this Bruin offense. 9.42 to go, and they are in the red zone. Here we go. Give on the counter. Brandon Lee, touchdown, Bruin. There we go. We are in. No, that's number three. That's Jackson Ingstrand. I thought it was five, ah, Brandon Lee. Ingstrand took it in there. Jackson there you Ingstrand. Go. Nice. Um, love it. little counter action. They fake the uh, give, the inside zone look, and then uh, give it on what looks like a buck sweep. And there goes the two-point conversion. Easily in Zach Spurrier. Right. Eight Spurrier. nothing. Three-yard gain. Up. Very nice. Yeah, two-point conversion there. Um, Coach Mattingly's always been super aggressive. Whether yeah. they're in a formation to kick the ball or in a, just a regular offensive, they'll go for two a lot. Quite often. Absolutely. So 9.33 nice. to go. That the Bruins fast. are on the board. Eight to nothing. A couple of big plays wow. there. 22-yard run, Mason Gardner. 35-yard run, Walker Meredith. A uh, good 11-yard completion. Uh, completion was to Noah Payton. And uh, the last five yards go to Jackson Ingstrand for a touchdown. Hard to script a better opening drive for the Bruins on that one. Uh, they had it. Uh, they they uh, had everything under control and appeared to be able to do pretty much what they were wanting to do on that drive. Well, the uh, Henderson County Colonels uh, in a base look like 4-4 look. They may have to look at going to uh, a little more of a stack the, li stack the line kind of look to stop this running game. They may have to go into more of a goal line look. Yeah. Micah Chenault, number 40 to kick off. Wow. Deep. Nice kick. Into the end zone. Touchback. Micah Chenault. So there we go. Chenault is three for four on uh, extra points this year. First year as a starter after uh, the great Case Van Blindberg uh, yes. kicked the last several years. But yes. Micah Chenault is a junior and uh, wow. is doing a great job. That's and uh, excellent. Pounded that one into the end yes, zone. Yes, he did. Very nice kickoff. So the Colonels will start at, the, the, at their own 20-yard line. Again, the quarterback, Trajan Davis, at running back number 22, Anthony Burris. He's got 148 yards in two games on this young season. And they'll be in the spread quite a bit here. Looks like they got tight end to the right, trips to the left. Quick screen completed there from Davis. Oh, good tackle. Very nice about tackle. four or five yards. Yeah, it takes him out about the 24, I believe. It was number three nice. making the tackle. That's Jackson Ingstrand on the tackle. Closed down that really fast. Absolutely. Number two, Luke Humphrey picks up four yards on the pass. And so... Trajan Davis, they're just getting him an easy completion on first down. I love that play call. Yeah, it was beautiful. Um, just to get an easy completion, you get four yards. Two receivers wide to each side. They're going to give to Burris straight ahead. He's going to pick up about Comes three up more. Yeah. yeah, bringing up third and three. Uh, number 70, Carson Lamoth was there um, to help make the tackle along with uh, Big Tucker Walters, number 64. They're going to go quick here. Again, Burris and Davis. In the backfield, ready. He's looking to the sideline to get a change they're in the wanting, call. They're wanting to get a call, but they're not going to get it. Four-man front in it. their base 4-3 look here with two deep safeties for the Bruins. Tucker Waters doing some room. They bring a, they bring a oh, blitz off the outside. Man. Big play. Oh, Noah, Noah Payton, Payton, man, coming in. Woo! Little TJ Watt action going wow. on out there, baby. Wow. That was nice. Very nice. Noah Payton, he almost unabated, went in there and uh, took out Trey John Davis. 
Very nice defensive stunt. So minus 12 on the sack by Noah Payton, number 10. Again, blitz off the outside. He's the outside linebacker, and they brought him on that third and three situation. Oh, man, Ooh. a lot of pressure, and there's a flag. Uh, he missed the ball and got the yeah, punter. Yeah, yeah. You're going to get the punter. you got to get the ball. I don't know if that will be an automatic first down. I don't think so. I think running into the kicker will be a five-yard penalty. They may make him kick it again. The punt was a good one. Yeah. Uh, out to the central 45. That running into the kicker situation. I think they'd have to decline it because that's a good kick. Yeah. They, uh, it is. They would be foolish to not. They gained 40 yards on that punt as the uh, Bruins did not field it. Was it Lee that was back to receive it? I think. I believe so. And they are going to. Um, yeah, I think it's running into the kicker. And running into the kicker is a five-yard penalty, not a an automatic because it's a not a personal down. foul. Right. So uh, that ball is. It was number five, Brandon Lee. Oh, they're going to step it off. They stepped it off after the uh, kick. I've never, yeah, oh, okay. really? Yeah. I, okay. All right, that's, uh, that's one on me. All right, uh, right hash. The uh, Bruins will take over at their own 40 with their second, with eight minutes and seven seconds to go in the first quarter their second possession so a three and out on the big sack from Noah Payton there really nice defensive stand by the Bruins McKay Payton uh, to the right at tight end too wide to the left Meredith in motion they're gonna play yeah. action pass looking down the field nobody really He's, there uh, guys go down roughing the pat or we have got uh, defensive interference yeah hold it yeah holding call uh, as Jackson Engstrand was about to run by the safety yeah and he grabbed him Absolutely, uh, on the 30-yard line. So that's uh, where that I think that's where Spurrier was looking, and he had to yeah, tuck he it and he run. Totally was he had eyes for him only right there. Yeah, there's going to be a holding call in the secondary, I believe. That's one of those penalties where uh, it may be worth the penalty because had he unleashed that ball, yeah, it might have been six points. Might have been six. I think that's what the Bruins are thinking. They're wanting. Uh, they're yeah. up eight nothing. Let's quick hit him again yeah, on yeah. first down and make them make them. Yeah. Uh, do a PI. Uh, average. That's 15, right? Yeah. Uh, no, 10, 10, but it, yeah, 10. that'll be a first down. All right. So a holding penalty in the secondary. Again, this Henderson County squad uh, playing a little small up front on offense, but very athletic. Excuse me, on defense. Um, their leading tacklers, number 27, James Murphy. Number 33, Luke Warner. Uh, down lineman is their second leading tackler. So got some athleticism up front and everywhere on the field to give to Mason Gardner. Good spin yeah, move, and, uh, boy, he ran hard to get three. Yeah, he did. He, uh, he earned all three on his own pretty much on that one. Okay, so apparently it was only two. No, it's three. It's three. It's three. I'm thinking it's three. I got it. We got it. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes they try to overrule us with the stadium I announcer. Know, stadium announcer. <laughs> sometimes he's right, but <laughs> folks, just listen to me. We'll be good. We're good. <laughs> All right. Second down and seven. Right hash still just to the right side. Tight end wing. Right. Mo deep motion. Toss sweep. That's Walker Meredith. Wow. Pressure up field quickly. Meredith makes a miss. There's another foul. Uh, uh, that flag, there's got to be a hold on that. Uh, Anytime absolutely. you run wide and you see a flag at the point of attack, somebody's holding. So what second and seven is now going to be second and a lot. More like second and 17 because I think the, the spot of the foul is right near where the ball okay. uh, was, was carried to. Mm. Yeah. I did not see who came running up field. It could have been I'm trying to look at number five, I think. Uh, number five is Jackson Pendergraft. He was really active coming up field on another uh, a sweep action, a jet sweep action Defensive earlier. Back. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah, safety even. Uh, coming downhill in a hurry when he sees that jet sweep. That's how they're going to try to take the sweep away is bring that safety down. Your corner sometimes can come up and play it, but you can play your safety, but then your corner has to sag and not be quite as aggressive. Yeah. Tight end right. Now we're going to go tight end trips to the right, like a tight bunch, and we're going to throw it sprint out 
Spurrier looking deep down the field. Wide open. He's got, but it, he's got it, but it's, it's caught. Has, Walker Meredith. Touchdown, Bruins. He, that. That ball was hanging like a duck up there. and <laughs> He had pressure he, right in his face. Yes, he did. He sure Listen, did. Jeff, there aren't many quarterbacks who can make that throw with someone in their with face. With somebody but in their face, he a did 225-pound rocket-armed That's awesome. Uh, state-leading pitcher Tremendous is throw. the guy that can do that. He's got a heck of an arm. Wow. And he was still there. So a 47-yard... Touchdown pass there. Spurrier. Chenault it knocks it good. through. It so a 47 yard touchdown pass from Spurrier to Meredith. Just and, like that. Uh, yeah, just 15 like that. 15 to nothing. 15 0 as they let Chenault kick the, the extra point this time. So 15 to nothing. 6 10 to go here in the wow. first. Listen, Jeff. I, Quite a surprise. I, a little bit. Now, I, I will say this. They had a uh, one-point victory over Meade County. That's a decent win for this squad. But Meade has – we don't know how good Meade is. Okay. Meade has struggled the last couple of years. Yeah, they haven't won not. more than two or three games in the last two seasons. And so – And then just, they lost to South Warren. Uh, who's a top – yeah, who is yeah. A, usually a top team. But, again, I, we, we really don't know what we've got here in this Henderson County team. Right now it's all Bruins. And I think this yeah, is a is. good Bruin football team. It is. Um, I, I'm, it's it's really heartening to see that. I mean, because we lost a lot of talent last year. Absolutely. And uh, put a lot out there. And so it's just nice to see that uh, Coach Coach Mattingly has got some uh, some nice backup and uh, carrying it on. Chenault, deep big, again. Big. There's a whistle. He kicked it to the one. There's a flag. Maybe offsides. We may have had somebody get a little eager there. A little bit uh, excited. Early to the line. Offsides, they'll move it back five and kick it again. Uh, Chenault, uh, obviously his leg is loose and he is kicking the ball deep, yeah. so we'll see what he can do with this one. He's going to be catching this ball in about the 10-yard line now. Be they my are guess. Now, they are, they are standing at the 15. Yeah, they are. If but he it kicks it like he has the last two times, uh, that should be at about the six or the five. Yeah, yeah. They're going to have to backpedal considerably if he can catch this well. Yeah, which I is, mean. Which is tough to do. I, I'm surprised, having kicked one to the end zone and kicked one to the right. one-yard line, that they are standing all the way out stand on at the, the 15 13. or the 13. Yeah. Um, one's on the 15. One I believe the it's number one, Coyan Banks, back deep, and number 25 as well. That's Landon uh, Pike. All the way back, yep. There's Pike five at the five to catch it. it. Up the middle and uh, good coverage. He'll be down he at really about the is. 27. See, and now here's the big difference. If they had been standing on the goal line, they would have been running forward as they caught yeah, that yeah. ball. Yeah, and instead of chasing it backwards. Instead of chasing it backwards, and, you know, that's a couple of seconds yeah. of stop and start. So here we go. They're loading up. Tackle, uh, tackle there by Reese Reinhardt, number yeah. 53, and number 13 uh, as well was uh, Mason Smith. So. Uh, getting down on special teams. Good job, guys. Absolutely. Uh, two Locked. wide receivers to each side. Again, it's uh, Anthony Burris at running back, number 22. Play action, look, incomplete pass. pass. Yeah, dumps it right over the front, but a uh, little low. Looking to Pendergraft, number five, who was the slot receiver. He was running just a quick slant, trying to get him in front of the linebacker to catch it and just keep running. It was a close call. He really couldn't was. Quite get him the, yeah, uh, couldn't quite just, get him the ball. He definitely just wanted to dump it off, but it just didn't work. 5.59 to go here. B clock stopped. Uh, Four-man front. 4-3 four, look, keeper, and there's the – uh, around the left side, and nothing happened in there. I don't know. Oh, he turned he got the corner. a little bit. He turned a little bit. He got, yeah, he outran him. He did. Uh, that's about a seven-yard gain. That's the first time we've seen Davis' uh, speed tonight. Yeah, man, Trajan Davis uh, is phenomenal. and. Got some jets. He got nine on that, so wow. third and one. It looked like he had nothing. It's just re basic read option, reading the uh, front side defensive end and seeing if he's going to close down on the uh, on the back on Burris, and he did. And so uh, uh, um, he read it well. Trajan Davis pulled the ball. Yeah, read it well. Uh, trips right, wide trips. They're going to give inside to Burris, and not much doing there. Did he get it? I think uh, so. It's really close. It's really yeah. close. Wow. I don't I know. He didn't sure. get it. I don't think they're going to give it to him. 
So we got an eight. incomplete pass, a nine yard run, and now a no gain. About a half a for yard Burris. short. It's fourth no, and one, that. down 15. He's a whole yard short. Yeah, absolutely. Got nothing there, and that was uh, Burris on the carry. They're going for it. Here they Fourth go in their own end. Their 521 own to go in the first. They're down two scores. Yeah, they got to do up. We were we almost got a neutral zone infraction. All right. They, they may it. or may not run a play. They may freeze it. But let's see. Moving Burris to the right. Defensive line is switching their sides. They're going to give it inside to no keep Davis by Davis. It. He did not. Ooh, right, he got not it, know. Jeff. Uh, that's They're spotting close. it. Man, that's a really favorable it. spot by the by the yeah, side. Judge. It really is. Got it. One they yard it gain. Wow. wow. That took some guts. Coach Boston over on the other side says, we're going to go for it. we got to stay in this ball game and not give it right back. Almost a botched play the because they about dropped that snap. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, P and um, Burris on the uh, fake handoff there as they were doing the read option yeah. look. Looks like an outside read option where he's going to run outside. Uh, trips right. Looks like number three, Jackson Engstrand, has uh, got a bloody nose. He's From up here in the field. booth, we can certainly see that. That's yeah, a lot of blood. That's, <laughs> uh, he's smiling and laughing, though. Somebody <laughs> hit him in the nose, and um, he's uh, he's got a bloody nose. Yes, he'll be, he'll he come does. off the field from his safety position. Trips right. Davis looking to throw the ball deep. Everybody running deep. Davis has got some space. Closing in on him, Loudermilt mm. and uh, Peyton. Wow. Peyton makes the tackle, and Davis is going to be dangerous in these he scramble is. situations. And that was a very fortunate tackle because yeah. had he got past him, he yeah. had a lot Nothing there. of real estate ahead of him. Five-yard carry for Davis there. Uh, again, great coverage. They were yeah. running too deep up that on the trip side, and one guy kind of sitting down, and uh, there was nothing there. He had to pull it and go. Again, trips to the right on second and five here. 3.53 to go in the first. Burris to the right. Going to play action. Looking for that same Got him. Uh, slot slant. Got him. It looks like and, he picked uh, up another first down. Down to about, about the 45. About 13 yards on that. Into Bruin territory. So. And went a little more than that, but it's close. 13 yards. I'm going 13 on that. It may have been a little short of that, but uh, they're at the uh, just, Bruin 45 yeah. now. Tipping it uh, a 45. second first down, and they're going to be trips right. They're going trips to the wide side a lot here, trying to give Davis uh, some room and the receiver's room to operate. It's a two-deep zone look for the Bruins. They're going to give inside Here's to Burris. Up. He's got a little bit of room, but um, good tackle after about three yards. Tucker Walters there. On the tackle in number 10, that's Noah Payton. Burris, we're going to give him three. So Burris uh, has been averaging carrying the ball about 11 or 12 times a game and uh, more like 20 times a game for Trajan Davis. That's what you can expect to see here. So uh, Typical output. Yeah. They gave him four yards on that one. So four-yard gain, second and six, trips right, wide side again. Faking the toss, we're looking down the middle, wide Got open. His man. Wow, Pendergraft number Very five. Nice catch. With another Has big catch. Got behind his defender, got up in the air to catch that ball, and falls down at about the 18-yard uh, line, I think. 23-yard gain for Very Pendergraft. Nice yeah. So getting hot with the passing game here, uh, as again. Trajan Davis, you're seeing what a weapon he is. Throwing the ball, um, running the football. Man, All he's making a difference uh, in this second drive of the ball a game. Absolutely. Looking down the field, deep out. He's got Pendergraft. Great throw on the uh, money. There's a, a flag. Foul in the backfield here. I'm not sure Holden, what that maybe? is. Great throw to there Pendergraft. Wasn't hardly any, there were no Bruins left in the backfield when that flag was thrown. They were all gone. Maybe a late hit by the Bruins. I don't know. Decker's holding up his hands like, I don't know what you're doing here. It was a little late for a hold, so it would make sense. Unsportsmanlike oh, uh, on somebody. That's against them. Okay. Yeah, against the Bruins. Uh, that'll move it half the distance there. So the, the completion went to the three, so a 15-yard gain. Again, Pendergraft, uh, his wow. third reception – 
And uh, it's it's all Davis and Pendergraft right now. Not sure who um, that call was on. It may have been on number 57, Grayson Decker. He yeah, was the, he one, was the was one raising his hands like, what are yeah. you talking about? Yeah. So that's usually a pretty telltale sign that the one who did it. First and a goal at the one, one and a half. They'll go to Davis on the ooh, on the option. They got him in the backfield. They Good did. play. Wow. Minus two, that's number four. Jackson Rashaw coming up to make that play. Yep. Ooh, that's a big play. Uh, Two-yard loss there for Davis. Um, Tucker Walters checking back in for uh, Grayson Decker checking out. It'll be second down and goal from the three now. Uh, again, a loss of two there. That was actually Zach No coming out, number 67. Oh, 67, not 57. Yeah, okay. 67. Zach No coming out of the ball game. Davis gives this time. Uh, nothing, nothing there. there. Stuff. Boom. Uh -uh. Didn't make the tackle, oh, but the no. big fella, Tucker Walters, was the one that kind of hit that first. And then and bounced then, him off. Yeah, 41. everybody is there. Three. 40. Um, 41 took him down. 41 is Seth Loudermilt, and three is Jackson Engstrand. So those guys combining on the tackle. Third and goal from the three, and the Bruins trying to get a big uh, stop here on this big drive from the Colonels. Okay, third and goal at the three. Number 10, Maxton Meadows out to the left. Single coverage. They got blitz man, everybody up right now. Davis has hit in the back. Engstrom, Engstrom, Engstrom got him got in the background and sacks him. Yes. Woo. What a stand by the Bruins. So, Taking it all the way back Jackson to the uh, nine and a half yard line here. So a six yard loss. Wow, that is a great stand. Wow, the kicker really is coming is. on the field. Carson Weiss to kick a field goal. 24 seconds and counting here in the first quarter. So a long drive here. It's going to end in a field goal attempt, and they've got somebody not on the field. The uh, the offensive line is saying, hey, where We're is so-and-so? So. Yeah, we don't One, have two, a, three, four, a couple five, guys six, missing. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There we go. Uh, both guards. Four seconds there. left. I doubt they're going to get this off. No, they said they did. They did. Did he get it? Nope. Oh, it came up short. Short. And nearly How blocked by uh, wow. Noah Payton was there. Very nice. Wow, what a stand. No after points. A, after a gutsy fourth and one call in their mm. own uh, territory to keep that going, and it just didn't pay. Wow, that's well, that's uh, deflating right there. Yeah, great plays there uh, from a number of guys. Tucker Walters on the second down play. What and, a stand. And uh, then Jackson Engstrand on the sack there. Great goal line stand. The that Bruins. was awesome. Coming up big. The Bruins will take over now on the nine. We want to thank our uh, associates and those who uh, sponsor our programming, Physical Therapy Associates, uh, more personal attention for more effective results. Both locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, South Louisville, and online at physicaltherapyky.com. Also want to give a shout-out to etownapartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Uh, take a virtual tour today at etownapartments.com. And for those who are serving our Country in the military, a discount is available. E-Town Apartments is a family-owned and operated management service with over 30 years of combined experience. Waddell's Auto and Scrape Metal and Recycling. It's a family-owned business with competitive uh, prices, pickup service, and friendly staff available for your recycling needs. Located at 311 Steel Drive in E-Town, call 270-982-7206 to talk to someone about your scrapping, metal, and recycling. And, of course, always E-Town exterminating. Uh, locally owned, family run pest control. Back company. for the second quarter, and the Bruins have the ball at the 20 after the, mix, uh, after the missed field goal. Counter action there, nothing doing on that. It, mm. Kind of a slow developing counter play, and it was sniffed out yeah, big time big there. Big time. Uh, it's going to be a loss can. of three, I believe. Trying to see who had the football. It was number three, Jackson Engstrand, who will lose three yards. See how Henderson County responds. Uh, I saw number 27 in there, Jeff, uh, for, for Henderson. That is uh, James Murphy, their leading tackler. Up front, again, a little undersized. Number 32, Myron Wright. Uh, number 45 is Jackson Wallace uh, on the defensive front. Uh, number 33, Luke Warner is also a defensive tackle there. Their second leading tackler on the season so far. So a little undersized, but super athletic. Boy, they look good on uh, on that trapping play that took yeah, a little did. while to develop. Tight end. They're going to go jet sweep to Meredith to the All right. All kinds of Lots room. Of Meredith is out, out there going. Them. 
Uh, it looks like he's been about around about the 35. He goes out of bounds, but what a run. Man, they are not closing on that. They do not have an answer for that. 16-yard gain for Walker Meredith, so erasing the, uh, the, the loss on the counter mm. play and picking and up the first some. down and then some. So the ball will be at the 34 on the right hash here. And it went to a little bit of a tighter look where the uh, wide receiver and the slot receivers were a little tighter. That allows you right. to get some crack blocks, some down blocks, yeah. Yeah. Uh, to try to seal Correct. the edge on those jet sweeps. So all kinds of different looks from this Bruin squad here. It's play like action play. look, running the comeback. He's got it. Oh, nice. Wow, great throw. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Number eight, uh, hang on to that ball that he went up and got hit. Number eight, Omar, Omar Marie's. Um, they're very um, nice. So Omar getting in the ball game and getting active. Great catch there, by the that way. That was excellent. Um, You're, uh, wait a minute. What are we going here? There's a flag down. We're going backwards instead of forwards here. Oh, goodness gracious. Great play number by number one, actually, for the um, – Coyne Banks, uh, you know, just yeah. made a good hit on the on the receiver, but um, uh, just a little late, just didn't quite get there on time. So we've got the um, five-yard penalty there with the uh, motion penalty, illegal man downfield, actually. It'll be first and 15 from the 28 now. They need the 43 shotgun. Now it's Loudermilt who's in instead of McKay Payton at tight end. Looking to screen to that side. He's There's got Noah him. Payton. Noah Payton, is, uh, he's like a fullback. Got, and, man, they've got him uh, out there on the edge. We've got a flag in the back. Um, looks like it might be holding. Yeah, it's number five, Brandon Lee, holding out on the outside. And they're going to bring that one back as well. So great play there. You know, Noah Payton playing in the slot out there. He right. is a fullback-sized man. Uh, and so throwing that uh, quick screen out there, great idea. But uh, it's going to come back. It's not working. Nope. And they're going to step it off from the spot of the foul. Wow. This is getting uh, the third drive not off to a great start after the um, first two drives ended in touchdowns for the Bruins. 10-28 to go in the second quarter here. And, again, it's a 4-4 defensive look. Uh, three deep uh, coverages. They've got everybody in tight Do the Bruins here. Look for an outside running play, actually. Kind of a trips look to the left, a tight trips look. Coach doesn't like something, so they're going to call timeout, their second timeout of the half with 10-12 to go here in the second quarter. Eton Exterminating is a locally owned, family-run pest control company that has been serving Hardin, Mead, Grayson, and Nelson counties in the surrounding areas of Kentucky since 1976. Whatever your pest control issues are, termites, spiders, crickets, general pests, even moles, their team has the knowledge, skill, and training to safely and effectively eliminate the problem. Call 270-737-6900 or go online at mugabug.com. West Point Bank has five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Or find us online. Sorry. Um, let us help make life simpler. West Point Bank, hometown banking made simple. We are back after the time after the uh, penalties marked off after the timeout. Give to Brandon Lee on the jet sweep to the right. Just a few Brandon yards Lee. gained out to about the 22. Looks like number eight. Mason Bridgman on the tackle. Second down and about 21 from the 23-yard line. 941 and counting here. Again, Zach Spurrier, number 15, has got Mason Gardner behind him in the shotgun. Motion across is Walker Meredith looking to throw a screen, but now going downfield. Got him. Oh, oh just nice off play. the tips. Number three uh, was another there. Another penalty flag back here. Max Thompson knocked it away on the attempted pass to Peyton. Ah, uh, this one's against the Bruins. Going back further, second and 21 We're after holding. two timeouts, excuse me, two penalties. Now we're gonna have another penalty. Wow, 
Is this what started happening last week? I wonder if uh, you yeah. Know, yeah, start getting a little bit. I mean, because they were uh, first first quarter, about penalty free almost on the Bruins side. Starting to oh, rack them up now. Okay, so listen, the uh, uh, Colonels declined that penalty. Incomplete pass. Right. It's going to make it third and 21 instead of second and a million. But um, <laughs> third and 21 now, 9.23 to go. Um, yeah, I don't – Bruins uh, will struggle. Anybody struggles in this kind of long yardage, but we'll you see if they've got – You don't have many plays in your not book Not a whole lot of plays one. for 21 yards, but – especially okay. when the other team is, although they're not very deep. Their secondary sitting awful tight. Boy, they're really you could tight. could run by them. Uh, land. He tries to hit Walker Meredith in the flat. On a screen. Unable to get that. A little, uh, bit of a little kind of a, well, it was just a quick out, just a little quick flat out. route uh, from the inside receiver, and uh, that will be incomplete. So now we're punting. And uh, the punt team will come on. This and, will be uh, our uh, first, uh, this will be our first punt of the evening, I believe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've not. Well, uh, they punted once. Henderson County punted Henry, once. But, but no, I Bruins. mean Bruins. Yeah, the Bruins. Bruins. That's right. Punt. I think it's McKay. Uh, excuse me, Noah Payton back, number 10, uh, to do the punting duties. Number five, I believe, is Pendergraft. I can't see the number oh, on no. his shoulder. Uh -oh, oh, botch no. snap. This is disaster. He gets it off. Great job, Noah Payton. Wow. He uh, saved them about 30 yards right there. So and great a job. Yeah, and so a picks it up after botching the snap. Wow. Um, wow. Runs around. So listen, Jeff. This is complete botch. This snap. is just, you know, um, coaching high school coach football coaching theory. One of my theories about high school. It's great to have a great punter. Honestly, I want to take one of my best athletes and put him at punter that can kick it a little bit because that kind of stuff happens. Yeah, you, you've got to have kids who can catch yeah, the ball back not, there. This is not the pros. No, no, no. You're, you're not going to have a guy very often that's going to be booming at 45 yards with four seconds of hang time. Have a great athlete back there, somebody who can make a play, somebody who can uh, yeah. uh, take care of the ball for you. You're, you're, you're so likely to have a botched snap. Absolutely. 4-3 defense here. Davis looking downfield on this one. Deep throw up the sideline. Wow, uh, great play nice by number speed. 11 number there. 11. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, Caden yeah. Taylor. Way to go, Caden. Nice that's one of my job. guys, Jeff, uh, one Kaden. of my students that I haven't had All in right. class. Good job, Caden. Caden is probably the fastest guy on this Bruin football team playing corner there. So what we saw there Stayed is some him. deep routes. But number 22, uh, Burris, was a wheel route out of the backfield. That's the uh, you run an inside deep route with your outside receiver, right. and then he runs a wheel up the sideline. So that wheel did not trick Caden Taylor at the corner spot there. Second and 10 now. Give us to Burris straight ahead. Oh, Ooh. good hit. Nice Brandon hit. Lee Number gets him. Five. There's a flag down again. Background. These guys are getting flag, ha flag happy, Jeff. We're going to be here until really 1130 are. if they these really guys keep are. doing this. They just, there's, I, I don't, is that holding? I don't like it on either side. I just let them play, boys. I know, but. We didn't see any flags in the first quarter. Now it's like, no, okay, wait a minute. It's like we got to catch up. We're getting paid for this tonight, and, and we're not uh, giving our money's worth here. So what do we got? The game. Spot foul. It's got to be a hold because they're yeah. trying to figure out the spot of where they're going to well, mark threw it from. It from the backfield, so yeah. not much else it can be. All right, be. so back to the 50, which will bring up a second and 18 now. Great hit by Brandon Lee on that carry there from uh, from Burris coming up from his outside linebacker spot. Again, the, the Bruins are playing a 4-3 look with two deep safeties. Uh, it's a cover two um, zone defensive coverage look. And um, – that outside linebacker, number five, Brandon Lee, came up and laid a lick. Yeah, he did. On Anthony Burris. Absolutely did. Second and 18 is what I'm calling it. And he's holding on to it. Gives to Burris. Burris yeah. just has a couple, oh. man. Great. I think he dropped the uh, ball. He fumbled. He did. And the Bruin Bruins ball. have it. It is Bruin ball. I believe that's number Absolutely. four. Jackson Rashaw came yes, out with the football. Yes, it is. The other corner making a there play. So, Caden Taylor and there Jackson Rashaw making plays. Nice. Very Woo. nice, Jackson. All right, Bruin ball. Not sure who knocked line. it loose. I but, do not um, know. It was certainly number four, Jackson Rashaw, jumping on it out there. And the Bruins have it almost at midfield. First and ten at the 49. Wow, flipping the field in a hurry here. It's 15 nice. nothing with 8.36 to go, Jeff, and Bruins got a great opportunity here. Tight end wing to the right. Giving up inside. Mason Gardner makes a cut. Still great moving. run, Still eight rolling. yards. Wow, what a nice run. He's such a great running back. Mm. 
Tough, low to the ground, yeah, man. Yeah, consistent. Yeah, hard to uh, find behind that big offensive line. Big absolutely. offensive, Carson Lamoth and um, yeah. Grayson Decker up front there uh, doing a great job. Uh, I see uh, No out there as well, number yeah. 67 um, up front. So doing a great job, those guys up front. Number 12 out Giving wide to the space. left here, Colton Thompson. Giving a little love to that O-line. That's right, buddy. Man, they're getting it done. Good nice. pass. Screen out here. Walker nice. Meredith makes Meredith's one man miss. miss. Good what a screen pass. Big hit, but he turns it, gets about another three. Nice job by Walker Meredith coming out around the left side. About a 13-yard gain from Spurrier to Meredith. Meredith has had a couple of pass catches now. One for a 47-yard touchdown, which was kind of nice for him. Absolutely. Uh, had a, yeah, 47-yard uh, touchdown early. First and 10 balls at the 33, maybe 32-yard line there. Deep motion. Inside give. Gardner making uh, guys miss. About the 25. Another seven. Oh, we got wow. another flag. Here oh, we go. Here we go. And uh, Gardner getting up slow. Concerning, what but in the world are like these okay. flags? Come on, boys. We came to watch the players, not the refs. <laughs> They're going to talk it over there at, mid at uh, the 35-yard line here. What do we got? Looks like it's going against the Bruins. Motion penalty, so uh, that's not going to count. Oh, unsportsmanlike, unsportsmanlike after the play. Like wow. Yeah. You guys better get yourselves uh, under control. Coach Mattingly is going to lose his mind in a minute here if we keep having these. Uh, saw uh, Spurrier kind of yelling at some guys, hey, let's uh, get ourselves together. So that's a 15-yarder, baby, and that's yeah, after that the play. Badly. So it's not a repeat the down. It's no. uh, uh, yeah. The down will count, an eight-yard gain for, for uh, Gardner, but it's coming way back. It's going to bring up a Turns second down a, uh, and um, yep. about 17, 18. Turns into a seven-yard loss. Yeah, yeah. Empty backfield. Spurrier on the run. Good throw. Got good the catch. Pass and the catch. Ingstrand has Some the catch. Of that back up to about the 30. And uh, so now we're looking at um, second go down. Up. 12-yard gain there to uh, Engstrand. What is it, second and third what? Down, we're third. third down and seven. Third now. and seven, okay. We're at the 29. They need the 20, just over the 23 to the 22 to get the first down. Again, Henderson is pretty predictable defensively, as, as are the Bruins pretty much, but they are in that four-man, 4-4 four, four look, one deep safety, two corners playing in deep coverage. They may be playing some man cover right now. They're staring at those guys. Spurrier on a counter look and nothing, nothing, buddy. Wow. 32 uh, Myron Wright was there. Another, another flag. flag. I think that's going against the Bruins because I I saw a lot of hand waving unless they were just fighting back against yeah. the uh, 27 Murphy was there. 32 Wright was there for Henderson County. The Colonel's making a big stop there to make it fourth and seven. Let's see what the call is this time. Man. Oh, oh going, going the other way. Them this time. What do we got I here? Saw a Come bunch on. of Bruins waving their hands. Wow, that is a big face time. mask personal foul. Oh. Something. Just a regular personal foul. Wow, they're going to go back and forth trading. Um, yeah. Well, there you go. And maybe a late hit on the quarterback. They did. There were a lot of guys jumping on him, but I didn't see anything that was that bad. First and ten from the 15-yard line here. Wow, overbalanced to the left. They're going to run it left and pull to lead the way. And there's some space. And he Gardner breaks, tackle, breaks one, in, breaks, two. breaks two, and twists for a couple more. Down nice to the job. six. I think he's yeah. just short of the first down by about a half there yard. Yeah, just get up and go back to the huddle, Mason. Well, yeah, Do we'll give him nine. Be, don't be looking at other players. Well, he spun off one tackler, yeah. uh, gave a stiff arm to the other man. Yeah, wow, you're right. Nice. He's he's so good. He's just a he's he's just a, a beast out there. Our two backs in the backfield. Not something you see very often here. Engstrand, they're going to give to Gardner. It's a trap up inside. Uh, just short. Close. He is right down to the goal line <laughs> on that one. 
Tucker Walters had driven number 27, James Murphy, the leading tackle for the Colonels, about 20 yards from where the play was occurring. Uh, it looked like the, that scene from the blind I, I was side just where he the puts him over thing. the fence. Yes, I was Mike just, Lord just about put a guy over the fence. That's hilarious. So I, that was a first down on the uh, that's hilarious on the uh, four yard gain from Gardner, and uh, give it to him again, Coach. Punch it in there, and we've got a what a timeout. What's put going it behind on behind Tucker? Yeah, Tucker Walters at right guard is a good place to go here. Boy, he's sitting back awfully far. He really is. Oh man. That's where they're running the football, yeah, and that's where they're going to score it. Going. Goes in standing up. Number 22, Nobody Mason Gardner, one-yard touchdown run. Tucker cleared the way. Yeah, here 21 to nothing, 5.47 to go here in the second going quarter. For one. No, we're going well, for two. Got the muddle huddle thing going there. They're going to call it in and two. go for the kick here. Oh, they are going to kick. I didn't like the uh, – uh, okay, they're all set now. Oh, boy, but low snap. Spurrier's got it. Just get on the ground, Spurrier. They're going to stop it. So, yep, there's a flag, and uh, we're going to get to do that one again. Guy just shoved, actually hit Spurrier. Uh, I didn't see yeah, which number it was. It. They, they already had him wrapped up. The whistle had blown, and there was a shove slash punch. It was a, just a shove, but kind of a, just a hit to the shoulder, and Spurrier was a little upset about little that. Tick. But it definitely was way late. He got the call. Yes, he did. Um. You often wonder if that has any influence on the refs when the players look at them and stick their hands out like, it's like what are you, what doing? are you doing? Are you going to make know? a call here? That was ridiculous. It looks like both teams are having some, uh, some issues Offense? controlling their temper a little bit. Yeah, it's getting heated. And that will be uh, on the kickoff. So no, so no point after. That. No, okay. Well, uh, yeah, th those are after the play fouls. So. Okay, so that's going on the next um, one. Yeah, yeah. It's just like the uh, – which means, Personal foul we had earlier. Which means this will be kicked deep <laughs> into the end zone. I would suspect, unless they want to go for some kind of squibber to just kind of mess maybe, them up. Maybe get them back in there even a little deeper. Uh, sometimes that uh, it does, and we've only got to work out. Yeah, They'll be kicking just off. Under six minutes left in the in the half. Yep. So we'll uh, we'll see how this, this is. This is a Hardin County Education and Community Television Student Production. HCC TV TV is a division of Hardin County Schools Live Channel One programming, sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunications needs. We'd also like to thank NFHS, the National Federation of High School Sports, and its support in providing live streaming service. Contact NFHS.com to subscribe today. I hope that uh, you guys are enjoying this on. Uh, our broadcast, it could be on the Spectrum Channel 184, it could be on local HCEC TV programming, and it could be you're watching on NFHS. And I've really enjoyed the NFHS uh, service over the last several years to watch. Keep up with your nephews, sir. Yeah, my nephew who's now graduated. He played at Marietta High School. I was able to watch his games uh, on NFHS as I'm sitting here calling games for you guys, uh, watching my nephew, uh, Daniel Cannell. So here's Chenault from the opposing 45, from the Colonel 45. High kick, it will get into the end zone. About six or seven yards deep in there. And so the Colonels will take over at the 20s. 21 nothing. It's gotten there in an interesting way. We've gotten one two-point conversion and one where we did not botch snap, created a uh, no PAT and one traditional t PAT. Been a good game. It's not necessarily – it's been a little bit more lopsided than I expected. But as you said, you know, we just really didn't know going in here because uh, a little bit of a, a blank record in terms of who they played and where we are and what the other teams are like. So, yeah. Uh, but right now, mm -hmm. definitely the Bruins are uh, pretty much in control of this game. So we'll see if there's anything that uh, Henderson can I think do Henderson them. County is going to open up a little and try to have Davis uh, throw the ball a little more. Here they are on first down. They're yeah. looking to throw it. They've got number one wide open. Oh, my land. And he dropped it. That was number one, wow. Coyne Banks. Um, wide open that. on the shallow cross. Uh, that's a, he, had that's some, a, he had some space. He did. That's a typical um, uh, spread, uh, a spread offense play, uh, a shallow cross look uh, or a mesh look where you've got a crossing route. A couple of guys crossing and a couple of guys running deep. So he had cleared the zone, and, man, was he open. Wide open. Second and ten. I think they're going to have to throw it to get back in. Davis is their best bet. He's going to go play action here, rolling out. He's got Walters in his face. Tucker giving chase. Davis going to run out of bound for about a yard gain. Tucker coming. You're tucking and running. 
That is a fact. Tucker, Tucker is wants a to big eat. Boy. He, he has just been so much fun to watch over the last He's few years. He's fantastic. He just Great gets better player. every year. He is, he is the definition of alignment. <laughs> well, one thing you might not know about Tucker Walters. What is that? He is an aspiring country music star. I have heard that, to be He's quite honest He's a singer, guitar player, fantastic uh, um, I have heard that. Musician. So Tucker is a man of many talents. He is a renaissance man. And a lot man. of fun. He is. He is a renaissance oh, man. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Play action, look uh, over the middle. Down. He wanted to get it to Pendergraft again. Yeah, but nothing happened. That happening. was number 50 in coverage for uh, Central Harden. That's Matthew Withers. Uh, now, what they've what done is, there, Jeff. Is, I was going to say, is he a lineman? Well, he, well, he's a lineman, I believe. What they're doing is to get some more speed on the field. Right. Maybe going eight in coverage, walking up uh, outside linebackers, pulling back some of their defensive linemen. So, they're mixing okay. up their looks a lot. Oh, low snap. Wow. Oh, got it away. I think they're going to say no flag because they uh, they, they did tip, tip the ball. The ball. Yeah. They did hit the ball a little bit. It's Walker Meredith trying to find space, but he's got about eight defenders and on him. And now we've got a flag in the background back here. I, don't I think that's Caden play. Thompson with a block in the back. And, or, um, Somebody needs to take their Caden flags Taylor. over halftime. He's it's the only guy back there to block, and uh, he, I think he had a block in the back there, maybe holding on as someone's running but it away. But was so it, – it, wow. it just they're very ticky-tack right now. It and is Caden amazing. Taylor, like number 11, yeah. In the first quarter, and then all of a sudden – Man, I'm telling you, Jeff, 30 minutes ago, the clock said about seven and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. It's still 5.14 to go. This is what it's been penalties 10 do. Flags in the last, yeah, is what you know, do. 15 plays. You just you just kill the flow of a football game. Yeah. Officials have got to understand their role. It's not to influence the game. It's to keep a fair playing field, to not let these – I don't mind the personal foul calls. you try. You got to keep yeah, it yeah, under control. Absolutely. But all this other baloney, come on, guys, on both sides. Hey, some ridiculous stuff on the other side as well. Again, 4-4, four, four, cover three, look. Uh, wow, that was a botched play completely. I think he was expecting someone in motion to run a jet sweep. There was no one there. No one. So he was very confused. I think it may have been Brandon Lee. He was expecting to come in motion and wasn't there. Not at all. So uh, on the botched play, Spurrier just runs for one yard. You know, that he did exactly what you're supposed to do. He followed right. the blockers. He was just a little slow because he was wondering what was going on and where the ball carrier was. But he j you just follow the play and go where the hole's supposed to be anyway. Yeah. And uh, that's exactly what he did. He got a yard, salvaged, uh, uh, didn't uh, take a loss. Tight end wing left, two wide outs to the right. Spurrier's got Gardner behind him. Motion by lead to the trips. Sprint out All kinds look. Of room for Spurrier. He's going he deep. He's got he's one got open. Him open. Oh, oh, man. It's a little underthrown. Number 10 stepped in just before it got to him. Ball hung up just a little bit long. And uh, he actually, he about outran, uh, you know, he yeah. didn't quite cover it. I believe so. that was number three, uh, uh, Engstrand was receiver. Ten is Maxton Meadows, who was able to catch up on the slightly yeah. underthrown ball. Uh, I think, you know, we say it's an underthrown ball. It was probably actually a perfectly thrown ball. Yeah, he just Late. Ran, uh, he just, yeah, late. Just late. You got, late. you got to release the football on time. Yep. If the guy's 60 yards downfield already, you're not going gonna to underthrow if it's too late. Correct, absolutely. Even when you got a cannon for an arm. So just timing not quite right there. Third and nine now, 421 to go. Uh, second quarter here, 21 nothing. Bruins. Motion across there from Lee. Play action, look. Oh, he's got Peyton open. Oh, oh, a little bit it. in front of him. A little bit in front and underneath. Mm -hmm. mm, man, he did. He had him wide open. If he had hit him in the numbers, Peyton would still be running. That yeah, was Noah Peyton that was the uh, intended receiver there. So a couple of incomplete passes and a botched running play, and it'll be a punt coming up. I will say, Jeff, that throw right there, the, the corner route, is when you really have to, you know, number one, I don't think Peyton made a very crisp cut. In other words, he's kind of rounding it, and he's it more upfield yeah. than to the sideline. I think uh, Spurrier's expecting him to be more to the sideline and working that direction. Pun is away from Peyton. Route running is huge. It is, it is. Got Being able to get bounce. out of that cut. 
So 35-yard line, the Colonels will take over. They got 4.07 to go, and they need something here going into half. This is uh, really critical. Yeah, and really that's is. a bad three and out for the Bruins there with that much time yes, left and opportunity maybe to kind of put the nail in the coffin. The Colonels now have an opportunity here. If they can get something There's going some offensively. On the board. I mean, it's only 21 absolutely. nothing. It's not, by it's not out of reach. And if you can yeah. cut it to a two-score game, you've got a you've got a second half. If they can come back with some kind of a mounted offense, because up to this point, they've not been able to maintain anything. Mm. Burris has got nothing. Davis has had a couple of decent runs. Uh, their best bet is throwing the football, folks. Um, it's a three-deep, five-under zone. So dropping eight on that play with the Bruins. I believe that one Motion. was offsides by yeah. everyone but the center. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> offsides on That's 75, a lonely 79. That's a lonely feeling. With How that many happened. times did you do that, uh, Mr. Oh. It might have happened once or twice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you got to remember when you're supposed to snap the center. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget the. It was a pro game when the <laughs> the referee actually said that offsides everyone, but the center. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! All right, trips formation to the left. Burris is set to the right of Davis. Again, four oh six to go. First and about fifteen. He's looking All deep left sideline. Coverage uh, is there. It's interception. Intercepted. Wow! Went he for forced all of it. it. Ted Engstrom picked up on that one. Jackson Engstrand comes up with the interception. So, Jeff, he's got an INT and a sack today. How about that? Jackson, Jackson Engstrand. On. Very nice. Jackson Engstrand of the bloody nose earlier. Yeah. He seemed to be enjoying it. He was that laughing list. and smiling he when he had was. the bloody he nose. He did not seem to be disturbed. No, no. I'm he's having thinking, too much fun. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, shedding a little blood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, if you didn't go in with some blood on your socks at the end of the game, <laughs> you apparently socks. didn't play well. Oh, Not God, that's a lineman, man. Yeah, there you if go. you didn't I guess, have blood yeah. on your socks, you weren't playing that I night. had blood on my socks one time. <laughs> it was a carpet burn at, uh, <laughs> in, in the Hoosier Dome. When they, when, that's when the Colts played, man. That was the roughest, uh, you was the roughest uh, you aster turf you've ever seen, man. Yeah. I had a scar on my leg for about eight yeah. months. Oh, my, my gosh. Leg, Number five comes Pendergraft. up. Pendergraft. Pendergraft comes out Woo. out of nowhere. There was nothing. Man, number 26. Yeah. Walker Meredith was, so, had nothing nothing to go on yikes. there. Number Minus 28. four yards on the carry. Meredith had a wow. great game, but that one uh, they got so him much. there. So Pendergraft has been flying up the field, but they've had somebody to block him. That time, no one there to block yeah. uh, on Pendergraft. And uh, he came flying he up came, that time. He, uh, you know, I can unabated. tell, Jeff, he is the outside backer. This is how they're wanting to try to stop those jet sweeps. When they're seeing motion coming at them, that outside out. backer's he's, flying he's, up. He's spying They've on it. They've blocked him several times, though, and this time no one there to block him. He just keyed on that. He's stopped keying him. on that opposite side motion coming to him. So there's uh, McKay Payton switching sides there. Now they got motion coming to him, and they're running that um, yeah, same buck thing. sweep that way. Same thing happened this time, but um, at that point, but uh, Mason Gardner blocked him. And uh, stopped him. So Pendergraft got a seven-yard gain there, Jeff. So yeah. um, Walker Meredith gets it back plus a little bit. It'll bring up third and eight. Thanks to a nice um, block. Yeah, yeah. So that the one before was the jet sweep. That one is the buck sweep where they had a guard pulling to lead the uh, way. So they had a, they had an extra out. blocker. Turning it up is Gardner. Gardner's well, Ooh, he's good get about defensive play. Three Thirty-three there. was on him, Jeff. That's yeah. Luke Werner. Yeah, he was. All Maybe. over. Thirty-four was there as well. Maybe um, two or three. Maybe two. Yeah, that's Andrew Onan, 34. Uh, Two-yard gain, that's what we're going to say. Fourth down and six. That'll bring on the punting unit, I would suspect. They're just, okay, well, timeout Henderson County. So, listen, that offensive group would look like they were staying on the field. They have gone quick kick with Spurrier before, so that's a possibility here, even if they line up in an offensive formation. This is an HCEC TV student production, Division of Hardin County Schools. Special thanks to our live sports coverage sponsors, Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling, eTownApartments.com, West Point Bank, and eTown Exterminating. Tune in weekly for all local HCEC TV programs airing on the Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cable's Channel 2 and Spectrum Channel 184. All HCEC TV programs on the HCEC TV YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel today to get your local community sports and events. Special thanks to our HCEC TV crew tonight, Ron Hartley, John White, 
Jackson Houston and Gerald Walker doing a great job uh, directing, producing, bringing you the action. Our, our students and staff working hard behind the scenes. I'm Paul Gray. Got Jeff Knoll with me. Last week, those uh, felt bad for those uh, HCC Ooh. students. Man, it was hot up there on the roof. They and were, they didn't get to do nothing but sweat. But sweat. So got a little <laughs> bit cooler night. A little bit cooler night. Yeah. All right. So they are in punt formation now. 2.14 to go in the second quarter. Uh, Henderson County is going to get another chance after the three and out here uh, by the Bruins. Um, here we go. To try to take advantage of a late second quarter opportunity. We'll see what um, Coach Boston oh, no. has over his head. We've had a low snap and a high snap. Getting it away is Peyton. He's going to save him again about 30 yards. It's about a six-yard punt, but he literally wow. saved him about wow. – 30 yards there. Again. So they've got to figure out the uh, the punt snap. The low one last time, the yes. high one this time. And uh, the, the long snapper is just not getting it back there, Woo. too. Ooh, that's, uh, that's a tough, that's a bad night. Dangerous. That is a bad night when you do that. And that's exactly what happens. You know, you're low, you know, you compensate. You're mm -hmm. like, this time I'm not going to be low. Mm -hmm. And so you just better shoot to be low, to Jeff. Mood. Oh, yeah, it is, those can be can, handled. Correct. Those can be fielded like a shortstop. If it's uh, eight feet, ten, if it's 10 feet in the air, nobody's yeah. getting it. It's over your head. Yeah, you got it's nothing. Gone. Yeah, yeah, nothing. Yeah. All right. Great field position on the Bruin 47. Go to Burris straight not ahead. Uh, yeah, not uh, much. Maybe a yard. Maybe a yard. Hard yard, too. Carson Lamoff. Tucker Walters there. Great job of those guys. Also McKay Payton from the inside linebacker spot. Two receivers to each side spread very wide. They're using the whole field. Two deep coverage. They're going uh, play action look. You get it to Pendergraft again. Spread it out and then dumped it in the flats. Yeah, about eight yards. Side. That was the uh, that was the slot receiver, Jeff. Right, yeah, it was. But it, but uh, spread out that defense to try and give some running room after the play. So Pendergraft has four catches on the ball game. Uh, made a couple big. He's the one that made the big play in the backfield on the right, last series. Right, so right. he's really having a great ball game here on both sides of the ball. Looking to see on the stats here as far as the tackling list. He's uh, not one of the top, maybe sixth or seventh leading tackler on the squad, but he's, boy, he's making an impact. Pendergraft in motion to go to the trips look. Davis looking, can't find anybody. Yeah, he's going to scramble the other way. Trying to have him away. in, couldn't wow, do it. First down. Something out of nothing. Wow. Smart to run out of bounds to stop the clock with 36 seconds really to go was. as well. He really, gonna, we have not seen him uh, display those kind of moves yet really tonight. They've hemmed him in pretty good. They really have. Uh, he's been. Yeah. About they, a six-yard gain, Jeff. He's got the first down and the, and the clock stoppage. Who's the defensive coach for uh, for Hart Bruins? Tyler Jackson. Tyler long Jackson. time. I coached with him. He's been coaching yeah. here so long. I coached with him on the staff. So he's doing a nice job. Tyler Jackson is a, nice a phenomenal coach. Him. Yeah, he'll make a great head coach one day. Looking left down the field, man cover, nope. and there's oh, a flag for interference. Flag. Listen, it's great coverage by Jackson Rashaw. He's in the guy's hip yeah. pocket. There may have been some hand fighting or grabbing, but uh, I don't know. That was tough. Tight cover, tight cover. It really was. The ref that called that was over, all the way over here on the other yeah, side the middle. of the field. Yeah. Uh, that was number eight, Mason Bridgman, uh, running up the left sideline and being covered by Jackson Rashaw. So pass interference call will move. The Colonels even closer to scoring position. They are inside the 20 now at about the 18, maybe the 19. 30 seconds is absolutely how smart that wow. was to run out of bounds on that last play. Yeah. Uh, they've still got two timeouts remaining. This this uh, Henderson County squad's got plenty of time. They've just got to figure out a way to score the football. <laughs> Honestly, right now you've got man-to-man, <coughs> -man, blitz man cover here. Maybe cover one, maybe a, a deep safety here to help. In the middle Not of the field, man. Pendergraft again. Oh, takes it down to down about to the six, yeah, seven. Or seven. Six. They'll call it the seven, seven, I think. Where his legs went down. Yep. So Pendergraft from the 19th, about 12 yards on that one. <laughs> Boy, old Pendergraft nice there, uh, fifth yeah. catch of the ball game. So uh, he caught that ball, and um, the other player I didn't catch his number was right in front of him, and uh, yeah. I was assuming he was there to give him some lead in the uh, running, but yeah. got a little bit caught up. Yep. 
That's a fact. This is a Hardin County Education and Community Television Student Production. HCEC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunications needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results with locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, and South Louisville online at physicaltherapyky.com. All right, uh, first down and goal from the six. They're giving them the six. I thought it was a seven, but that's the six. Uh, 22 seconds to go. Watch out for Pendergraft um, and or Davis running the football. I think they've they've really tried to run Burris straight downhill, and he's had nothing there. With the nah, big, he really the big defensive tackles have been all over. Yeah. Notice no safeties here. It's just a straight man look. Yeah, they're Nobody all running with the, the oh, slot man, He's receiver. got a man wide open. Oh, and he dropped it. Oh, my gosh. That was Keon Banks. He was – I keyed on him from the word yeah. go. There was nobody near him. So, well, Bounced there was right there was a big hand uh, from Noah Payton, number 10, stuck his hand out and distracted as the ball went by. But still. Uh, from his linebacker spot. That it maybe – Was enough. It was enough to If that's a man look, they're not – They're not it. chasing the man. So, I – Maybe they're in some kind of a, a, a strange zone kind of a situation where they're trading off I mean, guys. that's what it looked like to me because, to me, he well, split the defenders. That's and where, well, yeah, and nobody ran with the motion man. So they yeah. had three receivers on two defenders, and the, only, the next defender was the inside backer, Peyton. Outside zone. Oh, there's the easy Same slant. Play. There's Pendergraft. And Got he it. just uh, uh, he beat Jackson Ingstrand inside in. on the slant. Great throw from Davis. Totally wow. How yeah, big was. was that? That was huge, man. Well, to get them on the board Just late. exactly what you said. You know, I mean, now you go into the uh, locker room and you got a little bit of juice uh, running through you now and uh, a little bit of hope. Depending on this right here, we're either looking at six or seven. Whew. Lined up for the extra point. Twice. That's some movement before. And I believe it's. Knock good. it through. It is good. So there no we go. Flags. 21 to 7, sir. 14 seconds to go in the half. The Henderson County Colonels have pulled within two scores here. Yeah, you know, this is that's a huge yeah. situation that's there. Big. And I believe, if I'm remembering from the beginning of the ball game, the Bruins got it first. They did. And Henderson County, the Colonels, will they receive the receiving. second half kickoff. So, so you score sh- and you get another possession almost get immediately right after back. that. Yeah, I mean, obviously um, the – yeah, Bruins are going to get the ball here for for a kneel seconds. down or a deep throw or something, but uh, they'll only have a few seconds here. So, for all intents and purposes, unless uh, the Bruins can make a big play, back to back possession, it happens. It does. It does. Back to back possession. So, back deep will be Walker Meredith and uh, number five, uh, Brandon Lee. I'd be surprised if they kick deep to those guys in this situation yeah, with 14 for seconds. You got to squib it down there and make one of the other guys. Maybe number four, Jackson Rashaw, who's a pretty good athlete. Also takes um, some time off the clock. It does. It does get the ball rolling around and bouncing. And and um, that would be my play. We'll see what uh, Coach Boston and the uh, kicker, Carson Weiss, uh, are going to execute here. <laughs> He is going to do that and struggles to get it, but it has been fielded, running with a lot of speed to this sideline, going to the opposite sideline. Space, good return Uh, out to the 50. 50. That's number eight, Omar Marie's showing a burst of speed. Wow, man, put on the Jets, brings it over Uh, here. They're going to mark it at the 49, maybe the 48. 4.7 seconds. Yeah, you only got four seconds, clock. but at this point, you can take you a, shot a shot if you want. Um, it's up to you know, it's up to the coaches, and if they just want to kneel it down and go in up two scores. Um, you know, listen, when you when you catch a ball on one sideline as a as a special teams coach, which I've been several times, I tell them run straight ahead, because yeah. almost never are you going to outrun eight or nine guys of coverage from one sideline to the other. It never happens. He outran that entire uh, group to get to the other sideline. That's pretty impressive. I'd say that's two things. A lot of speed and some poor coverage uh, would be my guess. So we've got an empty backfield. Right here. Nope, they're just going to run the jet sweep here. 
and give it to Walker Meredith, and they'll run out the uh, end of the half. So the the first first half half is over, Jeff. We've got a half of football in. 21-7 we did, you know, got a hand to Anderson County. They didn't lay it down. Because of, I'd say, Trajan Davis and uh, Jackson Pendergrass, we've got ourselves a two-score ball game. Both teams are going to go in with some adjustments to make, and we'll be back with first half stats and second half action in about 10 minutes. See you then. Welcome to one of our special sports interviews, which are sponsors that help us to produce our live sports programming. Joining me today is Kobe Gibson, and he is with Waddell's Recycling, Salvage, uh, a little bit of everything. <laughs> and they've been a new partner in the last few years, and we really appreciate their sponsorship, Colby. So let's start with how did the business start, the uh, background? My father-in-law started the business several years ago, uh, crushing cars, buying scrap. And uh, that's just progressed year over year until he had, uh, he had his two sons get more involved with it. And then, uh, and then I started helping them about 12 years ago and became involved with it. And uh, ever since then, it's just it's been a big family-operated business and we just like to grow stronger in the community. So. Now, how many employees do you have? Uh, anywhere between 10 and 15 usually, um, mm-hmm. just depending on what, you know, what you've got. It's hard to find help these days. So That's true. Yep. <laughs> what types of things do you take? Uh, we will take uh, pretty much anything that's metal. Um, we've got a few items we can't take as far as propane tanks, uh, anything that's flammable or hazardous, but other than that, we can take anything that's metal. So, well, like washers, dryers, I mean, they have to have the Freon removed? Yes, yeah, the Freon has to be removed, uh, but we take any appliances out of your house, um, anything like that, hot water heaters, um, anything that's metal. Okay. Now, I I mentioned that you all uh, came and got a car that I was, uh, that had been junked, and so that's a a pretty neat offer for customers. Yeah, yeah, if somebody's got a car that they don't want to repair, that's too old or wrecked or beyond repair, um, we've got a roll box service and you just call the office and fill a form out and we can come pick it up for you and you'll get paid for it. So Now, do we just load up anything in there that, in addition to that? Yeah, if you've got want? some oddball stuff, yeah, you can definitely get rid of it. It's an easy way to get rid of that making a trip up there. So, mm-hmm. Why is it beneficial? I mean, to me, it was it was very beneficial because I didn't have to get a record service mm-hmm. and I knew I did. I mean, it's not like it's worth a whole lot of money anyway. So, yep. um, that really makes things convenient and, and basically you said you all work from a long span off of yes. 65 so talk about your yeah yeah community. i mean we we go anywhere from southern indiana all the way to tennessee um with all of our services we've got mobile car crushing uh industrial services roll-off box services um any piece of scrap we can pretty much pick it up and haul it away so and are you still located in uh, the southern part of Elizabethtown? Yes. Yeah, we're right off exit 91 there. Um, you can actually see the place off of Interstate 65. So we're centrally located where everybody can get to us pretty easy. Well, we're going to have a lot of growth in yes. this area. Yes. <laughs> How do you prepare for something like that? But that because that's definitely going to be a, a direct impact yeah. for you. Yeah, we, uh, we've been ordering a lot of new roll-off containers. Uh, we've got well over 100 now of those. Um, so... Those have became a big hit as far as uh, industrial people and just residential people as well. Now talk about up. those. I think that's what we were sharing yeah. just a moment ago. So what are those? Yeah, so they're, they're like a, a roll-off container. We've got mainly 40 yards. Um, but what we can do is we've got a truck that will deliver to your house, and then all you do is throw all your scrap in it, fill it up, call us, we come pick it up. You get paid for it just like the car. Um, we charge just a little bit to bring it out there, but the uh, the scrap metal more than covers that, so it just makes life easy. You don't have to make a bunch of trips back and forth. So do we have to separate anything as we throw things uh, in there? You don't. Just the the biggest thing is like the hazardous materials: no propane tanks, oxygen tanks, no fluids or anything like that. So, mm-hmm. um, with you being family owned, I, I, I'm assuming you all are working yourselves to the bone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we stay busy. <laughs> Um, we, we have a cute commercial uh, that shows some of the youngsters. Um, they have probably grown up a little bit since yep, that commercial. Yep. That's been just a little bit. So, mm-hmm. Well, we appreciate you sponsoring our, our sports coverage. Uh, tell us a little bit about your commitment to the community and why this is important to you. Well, we live here locally, so and we, we like to put you know any money we can do with the advertisement or anything like that. We like to keep it local um, and then like to support the kids and the schools as well. Um, so we just try to everything we can do, we try to keep it right here. As far as our money, we try to keep it in Hardin County. We're not a big uh, 
corporate place where money's going away from here. Mm -hmm. uh, all the money we make, you know, goes back to our employees here, here or back in the community like the uh, sports stuff. Yeah. Well, and we do over 80 games a year, so there's a lot of promotion there. And it really does help our young athletes that, to be seen, really, mm -hmm. because yeah. it, uh, they could literally send the link to a coach and yeah. uh, say, hey, take a look at my effort. But you're talking about vehicles real quick. What about the tires on the vehicles? Can it so, go yeah, with them? Yeah, you're allowed, you're allowed the four tires that's on it plus your spare. Okay. So five tires. Okay. Um, that's awesome. Yep. Why, why is it important, you know, you're, you're in part – very responsible with a service that does a great thing in yeah. terms of recycling. Why is that important to the environment? Yeah, I mean, the, the way we do things too is a little different. Um, starting out when the car comes in, we've got an environmental rack that the car goes on and all the fluids get drained. So um, the only thing we ask for is for you to have your gas drained out of it when it comes. Um, but as far as the motor oil, the transmission fluid, we do all that. Um, and then it's just great that the stuff's not going in ditches and creeks and stuff like that and getting recycled and turned back into new metal. Right, because so. everything that's in the ground eventually gets back to us in yes. some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Okay. yeah, and we also help, you know, all of our stuff doesn't get shredded. We sell used car parts as well. Oh, okay. So, uh, you know, some of the cars we'll go out and buy, and they may be newer stuff that's been wrecked, and we've got about five or 600 cars over to the side, and uh, we've got actually a whole inventory of all those parts. So. Wow. Now, do you all take those parts out, or is it one of those pack where you have to come and get it? And we generally pull them out. Mm -hmm. uh, it just makes it easier. That way we know if nothing's getting tore up, taking the part off, uh, you know, we can take take time and get it off right way. So. Now, have you been doing that for a while? Uh, it's probably been going, don't quote me on this, four years, five years, something like that. So, And it's gotten, it's one of those things nobody knows about it. You know, it's people come in all the time and say, I didn't know you did this. Well, so. I was going to say, I had no yep. idea. Yep. <laughs> Yep, yeah, so. Oh, that's a great service there, too. Yeah. I mean, just having those, I mean, you just may need that one little used part. and, and it may um, save you a bunch of money. That's the exactly, way things are. Yeah. Exactly. Now, I'm sure you don't put the part on, though. No, no, <laughs> we don't do any installing, so. But it helps those that like yeah. doing their own work, though. Yep. Okay, that's great. Uh, again, phone number, where they can reach? 270-982-7206. Uh, 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 you'll get a hold of one of the office girls, and then uh, they can put you in touch with me or somebody if you have a, another question that they can't answer. Wonderful. And, and thank you again, Colby, for coming no in. No problem. And thanks, Waddell's, for helping us out with You're very welcome. Uh, our high school sports. All right, we're going to get back to some exciting sports in the area. Thank you for watching. Welcome back to Central Harden High School. We're here for the second half. I'm Paul Gray. Got Jeff Noel beside me here. We're calling second half action right now. Central Harden Bruins are up 21 to seven. We're going to be kicking back off here, and it will be the uh, the Colonels with the football. Now, a few first half stats for you: uh, the Henderson County Colonels struggling to run the football. Trajan Davis, eight carries, two yards. Uh, Anthony Burr, seven carries, 11 yards. A total of 13 yards rushing for the Colonels. Uh, a little bit better wow. passing the ball. Seven of 13 is Trajan Davis for 31, uh, 81 yards. He's got a touchdown and an interception. Uh, so, been a struggle on the offensive side of the sure football has. for the Colonels. Great didn't, job. Didn't pull it together. By the until, D. Didn't pull it together until that last series, and yeah. they made it count. They did, and they had an earlier drive that they got stopped on the one. That's so true. That is they, true. They punched that in, and the game is uh, it's a different ball it game is. here. Um, on the other side, the Bruins offensively, Zach Spurrier just two carries uh, for four yards. Uh, he's got. Uh, Four of seven passing for 83 yards. He's thrown a touchdown pass. Uh, Mason Gardner, seven carries for 44 yards and a touchdown. Walker Meredith, um, five carries, 57 yards and a touchdown. So, again, just over 100 yards rushing for the Bruins. That's a good first half. Um, yes, Walker Meredith, also two of those completions. There were four completions by the Bruins, two of them to Walker Meredith. So he's got the 57 yards rushing and a touchdown. He's got uh, 60 yards receiving and a touchdown. So Walker Meredith having a pretty good ball game. Jackson Engstrand, just uh, uh, three carries for 14 yards, but defensively a sack and an interception. Yeah, absolutely. For Jackson Engstrand. So um, a lot of great play from Noah Payton, a sack for Noah Payton, 11-yard uh, um, rush, excuse me, uh, pass reception early in the game. Uh, Brandon Lee, a three-yard pass reception. So those are the first half stats. Uh, going in the second half, Jeff, what are we looking? Uh, what are we looking to see here between these two squads? Well, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, for Henderson County, definitely looking for them to get some sustained drives and have some kind of production. 
uh, much better with their running and passing. But I'm like you. I feel like that's really going to come down to Trajan Davis and his passing game because uh, their running game is just not happening, especially up the middle. Burris can't get anything sustained. So I, I think it really is going to be who we thought from the very beginning. Yeah. It's going to be up to Davis. So uh, that's what I'm looking for for Henderson County if they're going to really, truly get back in the game. They gave themselves – a door to get back in the game. Now we'll see if they can actually do it. I'm a little surprised. Um, this is not as big a Henderson County team as I've seen in the past. Yeah, they've been some Very big boys. small up front defensively, but, right. but very athletic. They haven't yeah. been bad defensively. They've struggled to stop no. the run a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, as far like we, like you said, they're going to have to figure out a way to run the ball a little. And the answer to that is Trajan Davis. He, he yeah. has got to be able to handle the ball in space. Yeah. If they can get him in space, his speed and, and mobility – We'll will allow that. him to make some yards. I mean, he may not break off big ones, but he's going to get some yards, and they're going to be able to sustain drives. He, whether that's scrambling, right. maybe even design scramble, quarterback draw, uh, well, running some of the read option stuff that they're doing, they've got to get him in space somehow. They were having some success when they would spread out the defense and do some of those mm -hmm. dink and dunk passes, sure. getting some openings. And um, I mean, obviously, Central Harden's going to pick up on that in a while, but at least it yeah. creates some space. Well, I didn't mention Jackson Pendergraft. Yeah, he had a he's had a great game. Six catches, seventy seven yards, uh, and a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. Pendergraft has first re half. he's really been their their ace. Uh, you know, he has. We didn't necessarily see that. We no. were looking to Davis leading, to be the well, one. Well, the leading receiver coming in was uh, Coyan Banks with seven receptions. Pendergraft had four coming into the ball game and two in two games. So he's yeah. uh, he has increased his production just in the first half. Kick is away. Number one's got that's Coin Banks with it. What a nice return. Good return up to about the 35. Finally yeah. brought down a host of Bruins. I see Reese Reinhardt again in there. I see number 11, Caden Taylor. Number five, Brandon Lee getting off the pile as well. 27 was there. Also, man, a big pile of them. Uh, 27 is Gage Gurgley. And so Gage was in on that one as well. First Here we and go. ten from the thirty. And just as five? you said, yeah, they, uh, you know, were able to have the ball at the end and get a scoring, yeah. uh, scoring oh, drive. Man. And here big. they got the ball right so off big. the bat. Two two receivers to each side. Burris to the left. Davis is going to pull play action, oh, no, scrambling. That's what we talked about. Yeah, Jeff, there is. he is. Oh my! All kinds big of play. Wow! Woo. Takes it down to about the forty-three, forty-four. That's, uh, Wow. 21 yards. Wow. That was Twice a, as much as their entire yeah. production in the first half. So what I said about scramble, whether it's design scramble, whether it's quarterback uh, draw, they've got to get him in space. He yeah. is He's the guy. He truly is. And, I, you know, maybe they saw some things, some seams that he could attack. I just don't think they him. stuck with him enough to, uh, to, to make I, something happen. Uh, agreed. Two deepest, maybe a quarter's coverage right here. Uh, two deep safeties looking downfield, and it's covered downfield. Oh, he's downfield. got all kinds and of time. And there he goes. Man, oh. I mean, there was no rush yeah. on that. Yeah. None. They may have to blitz him to keep him in the pocket and to uh, get the pressure. They're Looks like about a six-yard, no, five-yard gain. We'll give him five. Trajan Davis now carries him 21 and five yards, both on scrambles. They had a they had deep routes there, and, yeah. and Coach Jackson had the exact right coverage. Quarters coverage, you're going to drop four guys yeah. when they're uh, deep, when they're running deep, and so there was nothing there. They're but basically just saying if you're going to beat us, you're going to beat us with your feet, not your hand, arm. And uh, two plays he is <coughs> to start this 11.06 in the third quarter. Low snap, gets it to Burris on second and five. Hey, hey, uh, hey, hey. McKay. Got a little bit of, yeah. <laughs> Man, they're still popping at it. Yeah. Yeah, we got uh, – Brandon Lee and Keon Banks <laughs> going after it there downtown. About a <laughs> two-yard gain for Burris. That's about all he's been able to muster. Um, third and three now. I think we had uh, McKay Payton and uh, Grayson Decker on that tackle. Uh, two receivers to each side. I call that deuce formation where they're spread out wide. Right. Give to Burris again. They're going to try to get it going straight downhill and stay with their running game. I think he got it by about a half yard. A bit. You know, I, I just watched, been watching this the entire game. Um, their center, uh, his snaps are too slow. 
Mm. He, they are not crisp uh, at yeah. all. And he, almost every time Davis is having to lean forward and catch that ball. It throws off and your timing if that's it, not quite right. Yeah, it does. I mean, I, that there just needs to be some. Uh, so that was Decker and Peyton again on the tackle. Uh, a couple plays in a row there. They're running at Decker's side over there on the left. You got No in the middle with, with uh, Tucker Walters. Yeah. Uh, yeah, number 67, that's uh, Zach No. First and 10 deep in Bruin territory on this first drive of the second half. Wow, this could change the whole landscape. 34-yard line, two receivers out to each side. A little tighter from the slots this time. More of an ace formation. They've sent the uh, Burris to the left out. and then to the right. Something wrong. Yeah. Time Something out, not Henderson right. Henderson County, they uh, not liking that. Yeah, absolutely. We want to remind you all that this uh, is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production of HCEC TV. It's a division of Hardin County Schools live channel one programming, sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing free ser providing service for all of your telecommunications needs. And uh, we want to do give a big thanks to West Point Bank. They have five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Or you can find us online at westpointbank.com. Let us help make life simpler. West Point Bank, hometown banking made simple. So, Jeff, I'm going to cut you off there as we're getting ready to start again. I've got to, I've got to, uh, a report from the peanut gallery. All right, all right. Listening at home is my beautiful wife, Jennifer. <laughs> oh, of course she is, absolutely. And what's her Earlier, comments Earlier, we're us? talking about our my, my awesome nephew yes, in Marietta, yes, yeah, Georgia. Yeah, yeah, I right. called him by his uncle's name. What <laughs> is, Daniel, can I, he's Daniel Gray. Uh, what's that kid's last name again? It's Dad got my last name. What is wrong with yes, me? Yes, uh, you called him his, Canel. Yeah, his, I, un, that's I his uncle that. who played in the Dad Gum Pros. I but, was uh, trying wrong to, guy. I literally sat here for well, a while. I, I think it, my nephew is a pro. Good throw and go. catch there. Nice down there, yeah. A, I literally said that a good comeback. Yeah, uh, a good he comeback. is a pro. Go Jennifer, keep us yeah. on track. Do not let do not let Paul get away with that. Jennifer, stuff. stay she, off the phone. She's awesome. <laughs> Jennifer, you she's stay right. She's texting me right now. You stay Cut right where out. you are. You stay right where you are. You keep it rolling. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right. Well, we Trey Davis is uh continuing to uh throw the football. I, was He's that definitely doing again? what he, I believe it was so. number 2 that time actually. That was Luke Humphrey. Ah. Uh, with about a seven-yard gain. He's got no pressure. Down the middle, wide 20, open, touchdown, no Colonels. Around. Woo! Wow. wow. Straight down the center of the zone, number 22, McKay Anthony Payton. Burris. McKay Payton was just watching. Listen, so let's talk about that play. Great call, that was a great Coach. Call. Yes. Because here's what you got. You've got two deep safeties. You run them off with your, with your receivers. You're back out of the backfield. Nobody sees him. He, just goes he splits right down, down the, middle. the middle. The safeties have no idea that guy's coming. They never nope. see a running nope. back coming. Great call. He runs right by the linebackers. The safeties are spread chasing uh, uh, slot receivers. Touchdown, Colonels. Wow. Big play. Blocked. And no extra point. There. Yeah. Uh, May have been Peyton. Number 10, uh, Peyton Noah came Peyton. In, uh, Noah Peyton came in from the side and got the block on that. So. Wow, that was fast. So, so literally they've had two touchdowns back-to-back. 28-yard -to -back. touchdown pass from Trajan Davis to Anthony Burris. Yeah. And uh, right back in this thing. Absolutely. Scary Henderson for County. us Bruin fans. Yeah. Uh, as Henderson County, listen, wore us out in the second half last year after it was about tied last year. Right. Uh, they may have been up three, uh, but just absolutely took it to us. So hopefully not a pattern repeating. But uh, certainly right now, uh, this series for the Bruin uh, that look, offense is massively important. You know, rarely in high school football do you see a team really change that much. Uh, but, man, that was impressive yeah, right yeah, there. absolutely. That was very sure impressive. Was. That's all coaching right there. Uh, great job, Coach Boston, and, and what they're trying to, to uh, accomplish in this half of football. Um, yeah, so they together. got the ball to Humphrey, and they got the ball to uh, uh, Burris on the uh, pass receptions. And then it was, as we talked about at, at halftime, Trajan Davis running the football for 21 yards and five yeah. yards. Uh, a couple of decent runs by Burris to keep things moving. And uh, wow, they're on the board. 21-13, kickoff from Weiss. Oh my oh, goodness, no. muffed. Deep, that's Brandon Lee, number five. He's got space. Got a lot of room, go up, up the middle, go up the middle. For? Do not go to the outside. 
Oh, my gosh. I'm with you. So he gets it to about the 22 or 23-yard yeah. line on the return. It'll be on the left hash. There's a massive hole, and he continued to go sideways. Man, you got to get north-south. Just turn south. it. Crank it hard and yeah, turn yeah. it up north you know, and south. Hitting it fast and straight ahead on punt returns and kick returns is massively important. Yeah. Those guys who know how to beat one or two guys and get five to ten yards upfield immediately, uh, yeah. you get past about half the defenders doing that. North and south north is and always south, man. closer to the yeah, goal line. It is, man, and it'll split the defense in a hurry and you're gone. Big series here. Jet sweep. No, keep. All right, counter action there as uh, they, they faked the jet sweep to Walker Meredith and uh, Spurrier kept it. They may go to Spurrier a little more in the second half. More. He is a massive man. He is man, a good runner. He's a big he boy. Will run, I, a couple years ago, I saw him run Meade County completely over by himself for about 230 yards rushing. Yeah. They couldn't tackle him. It didn't matter if we blocked anybody or not. So He's a big kid. He is. A four-yard gain, a uh, five-yard gain there, we'll say second and five. Give Mason Gardner cut back. Another cut back. He's got space. Comes out the backside. Gardner into the secondary. One man to beat. He's got the speed. Touchdown, Bruins. Right back, 72 yards. Mason Gardner. Huge touchdown. Wow. Woo, Mason Gardner. Sprinting over to celebrate with his teammates. After a 72-yard run, you'd think you wouldn't sprint to your teammates, but uh, a lot of energy in Mason Gardner's legs, and man, was that a great play. So they run a buck sweep action with wow. a pulling guard to the wow. right. And, and they're going to smash two. that in. Noah Payton going to go. smash it in man, for two. What? No, that's Zach Spurrier for two. What an answer by the Bruins coming right back, Woo! saying, nope, not tonight. This is still our home. Wow, Man. very nice. What so a run. So a two-play drive. Again, the touchdown run, 72 yards. Mason Gardner, again, it's buck sweep to the right, which is not a sweep. It's an off-tackle play. Right. Trying to run off-tackle there with a pulling guard in front. He makes one man miss, cuts back, cuts back again to make a second man miss and just outruns him. And he's gone. gone. And Beautiful. he was gone. Absolutely. Beautiful cut. Very nice. Cut, they just call it cutting wow. out the back door. It's pretty found beautiful. the back door. Everybody had over-pursued, and when you get that over-pursuit and you cut it out the back door, you're gone. You're done. Yep. Yeah. You're never catching Beautiful, that again. Beautiful, man. Wow, that's exciting. Wow. Loved seeing it, man. 29-13, eight minutes to go here in the third. Paul Gray on the mic here with Jeff Knoll beside me. And Beautiful night for football, woo. and Central Harden is answering that. Uh, wow. You Great know, drive man. from the Colonels and a uh, quick answer. You know, Henderson from, County uh, Mason Gardner. came back out, looked good, scored at the end, scored right off the bat, mm. made the, it's, it's the game. So we may be in for barn burner here tonight, we sir. We could. Let's see what happens here. Maybe we'll blow them out. <laughs> I'd, I'd be a little happier about that. But <laughs> do I have to be nervous to enjoy a game, Jeff Noel? No, you do not. You do <laughs> not. I know this for sure. Uh, Micah Chenault deep, taking on about the three-yard line. Number 26 with the football. I'm still roaming around there. A couple of broken tackles, or is that 25? Yeah. I think the answer to that question truly is if it's two 25, teams. 25, Landon Pike. If it's two teams that you really don't care about, you just want to see a good game. Right. Close. You just want to see a good game, see it close. <laughs> but when there's one that you love, let's just do a blowout and go home. <laughs> well. I hate calling blowouts all the time. You can get more they excited. They get really Big boring. Plays, man. Yeah, exactly. when you start Come wishing on. for the 35-point. I ain't going to cheer for these colonels, but, uh, <laughs> but a close game would be fun. All right. So, Zach No reporting out. Seth Loudermilled in at defensive end. Grayson Decker. Uh, hmm. Looks like more of a three-man front here with a couple linebackers. We've gone to a little bit of more of a three-man front look. Wow, yeah. They're, I think uh, – Trying to keep Davis. Well, that didn't work too well. Davis just not. picked up about five on a quarterback sweep yeah. look. And that was a planned run. Yeah. Planned run and a, watching it move. Yeah, about five yards. That's about what I thought. So, um, hmm, man, they keep moving it. Maybe six. They truly are. I'm going six yards on that one. Wow. Great quarterback sweep look there. Again, you go to a three-man front to try to have more linebackers. So you can take right. away that that uh, that scramble. Right. Uh, you're covering more field. You got more coverage for the uh, for the passing game. But you also can have a spy on the quarterback. Keep their eyes more in the backfield. Quick screen. Peyton gets there a little late. They're going to pick up about six or seven. Noah Peyton on the tackle. 
Pendergraft again for about six yards. First down and 10, they're at the 34-yard line. Henderson County looking to answer. First down on their first series here. A good run from Davis, a good pass from Davis, and continuing to move the football. Running out of space on my uh, sheet here to write down <laughs> yeah, I, stats. At the beginning of the game, I thought he did not live himself enough Come on, that's how I do it every time, I but know, it ain't but working. Man, not tonight. I, mean, I haven't done it. Oh, uh, man, look at that run. He just keeps rolling. Woo. Man, he earned the last. Oh, no, 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 no. Late yeah, hit. absolutely. Late hit. Well, he kicked. Yeah. Yeah, gee, Trajan would. Davis kicked the guy. And, oh, was it Davis? Yeah, I thought yeah. it was one of the defenders kicking I at him. I think it was on Davis. They were holding on to him, but that, he started kicking at him. That may be on uh, the Bruins. It may be. That, Nine-yard gain he, for Davis. Uh, maybe that's I think why we're going to have kicking. that for sure. It's an after-the-play foul, I think. Uh, they got to talk it over. They may just offset. I don't, I don't know. That was one of those things mm -hmm. where you sometimes you only see the second one. I just saw Davis's foot kick it, yeah. the Bruin. So uh, the first tackle was missed by, I believe, Seth Loudermill, and then he ran over Noah Payton. I mean, I don't know, ran, ran over, but bounced off of. Right. And uh, what, a, what a great run there for Davis. Davis is really starting to show something. I think they're offsetting, like you said. Second down, offsetting penalties. Uh, the Bruin guys just hanging on to him and not letting him up and then him ah. kicking back. Yeah, offset. Yeah, yeah that's it. Do we replay one? No, they're going to go to second down because it's after the play. Those yep, are personal foul kind foul. of penalties. Yep. There uh, you go. Second and in inches then, a nine-yard gain from Trajan Davis. Um, wow. Here we go. Bruins are going to have to tighten up defensively as this uh, Colonels team has found a running game and just the way we uh, thought they, they had to through the quarterback. Truly have. Haven't seen him run really a true quarterback lead where the back just leads the quarterback through a hole. They're running a lot of counter actions with uh, now the, the the quarterback sweep, the, the running back was leading him around the end. Uh, but really haven't seen, oh, they're gonna give him a first down there. They said he made the mark, so uh, not a nine yard gain. We're gonna have to change the stats to that to a 10 yard gain uh, since they're moving the chains on it. And uh, first and 10 from the 44. Trips formation to the right, Burris is to the left. Davis takes the snap, looking downfield, wants to go uh, deep on the left. We Boy, got, there he goes again. I believe, Another 11-yard gain. You think yeah, we got a hold, Jeff? We got a hold. I'm believing all that's right. a hold. That's all that guy knows how to call back there. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had a good play. We got to throw a flag. Man, I call, I'm calling it like a true coach. Yeah, you really are. Raggedy you're you're influencing me. Listen, man. You're, you're, I don't mind right. bad calls. I'm with you. I'm I got to tell you, Jeff, I don't mind bad calls. What I mind is 15 flags. You, yeah, you, the amount of calls. Don't throw them all the time. Let these kids play some football, please. All right, so there was a hold. All right, that helps uh, helps the Bruins out. But listen, listen, I'm Trajan Davis made lineman. a great play. There's a hold on every yes, stinking play yeah, that's ever been played. <laughs> <laughs> you got I love you guys, man. <laughs> if you're not holding, you're not playing. So <laughs> shout out to my center in uh, college, Jay Clutie. You love go. you, Jay. There uh, you go. You know where Jay Clutie played? Where? Henderson County. Henderson County. How about Jay that? Jay Clutie was my center at uh, Hanover College, How about and uh, that? man, that dude Henderson. was good. He's great to sit next to on the bus when you're traveling, too, because <laughs> when you're wedged in there, he's so big, you don't move. You, you can just sleep. <laughs> he's got you wedged in there on the bus. That is a really positive. That's a really positive swing on that. <laughs> Davis running for his life, but he's really good at that, Jeff, running for his life. <laughs> yes, he is, and he's Man, doing a lot of it tonight. He just got a couple yards you know, on that one, I, though. I feel like we're seeing a whole lot more of it in the second half than we saw in the first well, half. But yeah. That's their key. They've got to do that. I mean, they, he had eight carries in the first yeah. half. He's already got one, two, three, four, how many, five. In how many half. Burris have in the first half? He just uh, seven carries, uh, but he only four, had eleven yards. Eleven yeah. yards, like yeah. so, he was just not producing anything. Yeah. So they right, just after, can't break but through. after the penalty now, which made it um, uh, first and eighteen or first and twenty. That is, I'm sorry. It's yeah. now second and eighteen after the two yard gain from Davis on the scramble there. I got a little sidetracked there by uh, Jay Clutie. Love you, Jay Clutie. <laughs> um, trips right. Oh, they're over, uh, over shifting the secondary to the trip side, which is going to give old Davis a little extra room. Great play yeah, by the defensive front that time. Davis got nothing there. Nothing happening. Uh, I see Loudermilt there. I see number 70, Lamothe there. Uh, 
Is that 53? Is that Reinhardt? Let's see here. I can't I tell. Know. He's I a little smaller, but there, there you go. 50. 50. No, no, no. Who is that? That's Withers. Good job, Withers. That's Matthew Withers. Good job, Matthew Withers on that play. All right, so we got Withers out there. He's playing some linebacker, 50 is. Okay. So, yeah. He can, right. Well, remember, that's what – because he, uh, yeah, yeah. he tipped he made that a, pass. He made a play on a pass. Play. That's right. First half. So, trip formation to the right is number two, Luke Humphrey, out here to the far right. Combo He's got coverage. Oh, wow. man. Catch the wow. football, Pendergraft. He's done such a great job catching it, but they go with that little slant. They did. And which actually, out of the slot position, looks a little bit like a seam route. Correct. And had he Skinny caught that. slant. He oh, would have been. Uh, he could have kept rolling. He had him yeah, in the safety, buddy. Definitely. It was him and Engstrand. I don't know uh, if he just took his eyes off the ball because it wasn't badly Well, thrown. what it was, Jeff, is you, you had a linebacker kind of working between him and uh, the ball. I Great throw, but it just he, he, he probably lost sight of the ball for a second. And, yep. And so it's fourth and uh, 16. They had two-yard gain for um, Davis on that previous run. Declined the penalty um, to take the down, so fourth and 16, as you say. Yep. Punning. See, we've had pretty up. good pressure on their punter tonight. Yeah, we ran into him one time. Got twice. Be careful. Uh, yeah, twice. Jeez, come on, boys. Fourth and 16. As long as you don't rough him, it won't be a first. The down. second time they clip. Oh. Slow getting back there. Ooh, he just got that. Good off. punt. Good punt away. And Bay, big boy, bounce. Boy, big Henderson. Why you got to catch the ball on a punt return? Right. Man. Look, that was 10 yards. Oh, at least. Literally 10 yards. Maybe 15. Who's that? Walker Meredith, who is one of the most experienced guys on the field back there in formation. But you got to really there. commit yeah, to catch the football, catch man. Fair catch all of them. You're going to gain more yards doing that than trying to field them and run sometimes because yeah, the roll on those things is almost oh, always going to give crazy. you 10 yards and sometimes a lot more. And what's your probability of dropping a, a rolling football? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. you're not going to pick that up. Absolutely. So they'll start with it at the 23 or 4. It's 24-yard line. First and 10 yeah. Bruins. 29 to 13 with 5.06 in the third here. I think a score here puts it on ice. Uh, uh, makes it real tough anyway on the Colonels. It does. Uh, Colonels. Uh, ganged up on him. Maybe he got about three, four three yards. yards, yeah. I believe that's Mason Gardner pushing the pile for. Yeah. Four, I like four. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to run some four. clock here as well. Yeah. I'm sure they're kind of in that mode. Well, you know, you got a nice lead. 16-point um, lead, 29-13. If, if the Colonels can get a stop here, though, obviously, you know, uh, um, a touchdown gets them right back into the ball game, puts them uh, maybe at a one-score game. Just they can get a two-point conversion. So protect, uh, protect the ball. Desperation time for the Colonels. Yes, protect it. Oh, great run. Nice. Gardner up to the 35. Did he get it? He got it. They're going to move nice. the chain. First down. Six-yard run for Gardner. So, Gardner, uh, after a 72-yard touchdown run, now has runs of five and six to move the chains. The chains are moving. And they are waiting to call the play. The huddle standing around milling about. Coach Ingstrand is... Our offensive coordinator here at Central Harden High School is uh, taking his time because he's doing just what you said, Jeff. We're going to run a little run clock some here. time. No hurry. They've got a uh, wide receiver to the right, slot receiver to the right, tight end, wing left. And they're going to go play action. Oh, down the field. Oh, oh man. Uh, Ingstrand was behind Pendergrass. Just it would have been a one-handed catch had mm. he got it, but, man. Yeah. A little high. Just just a little bit. A little high on you know, the throw. You know, but they practice those now, right? You know? Uh, maybe. They didn't, know. they didn't practice those when you were in yeah. high school. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. I was just hoping a guy would catch a thing. <laughs> shout out Charles Luster. Love you, Charles Luster. I love it, man. We're giving some love I'm to your some uh, shout outs, team, buddy. baby. You know. Absolutely. Well, then I'm going to shout out for my quarterback, Rich Dalrymple. You know, he's Rich. Been, Rich Dalrymple. Come on, Rich. He was somewhere. He's somewhere Throw it down, in there. Somewhere down in Dallas these days. You know, Nolan All Dow. Right. That was our nickname. All right. <laughs> Good deal. He went on to uh, work for the Miami Hurricanes and then Ooh. Dallas Cowboys. Oh, my goodness. Trying to run over the uh, right side. Nothing doing there. Number 34 all over that one. That's Andrew Onan stuffing that one. So an incomplete pass. Yeah. Now just a one-yard gain for Gardner, and it's going to be third and nine. Great opportunity for the Colonels to try to get the ball back. 
Uh, 3.23 to go in the third. Running clock, running clock. Go clock, go. But you still got to make first downs here and make that your – let's not get out of Absolutely. rhythm. Absolutely. Um, man, that pass. He, he was behind the entire defense. He really was. Was, um, was Jackson Engstrand. That was – Little play action, bootleg look, the throw on the oh, oh, – right through his arms. Yeah, McKay Payton, number 44, on a crossing route. That's the old uh, waggle pass in the um, uh, Delaware wing T look as the tight end drags across the field. And there he was, well covered, but the ball hit him in the hands high. I'll take your word you had to for reach. that. I'll take your word for that. It's called waggle. You're faking, waggle. The, you're faking waggle. the buck sweep and uh, running a little bootleg there. You got a guard pulling out to lead you, and, right. man – right there, there. drop it in you got you got a front side uh, um, corner route that obviously wasn't there and he comes back to the tight end crossing so classic wing t pass it's the number one right. pass play of a wing t how about a good attack. snap for the punt right now oh land this is scary right on the money baby good snap falls away good punt. Oh. Uh, bad bounce Oh, there it goes. Well, second one. <laughs> second one helped out a little bit. All right. I had a uh, I had a chip shot today like that and uh, backed up on you. Uh, I had buried. I don't it believe buried, it. No. It no. It, it <laughs> literally buried in the front in the front uh, apron of oh. of the green and bounced. Right. Then bounced backwards and it should have hit and rolled up on the green. Of course. But it was the one spot in the entire course it's that wasn't soft. hard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, Probably right next to the sprinkler uh, where they were running much, the water. Pretty much. First and ten, Colonels, 2.49 to go in the third quarter here. Two receivers to each side. Again, the attack has got to be Davis throwing it, Davis running it, and we'll see if they can uh, figure out new ways to do that. They're going to give to Burris. So straight ahead. And, well, Inside zone, bit, good run. Tackle by Brandon better. Lee, but okay. about a seven-yard gain. So here's what we have. We've They've had some success on the outsides. And on those yeah. stretching it out, so guess what now opens up in the middle? Well, they're going to try to. It's hard to open up the middle when you got yeah. Tucker Walters in they, there and that, Carson LeMoth. That, that, that um, is true, and they're still doing the three. No, they're four down now. Two big defensive tackles. Yeah, they've gone back to the four down front. Uh, three, uh, three linebackers, two safeties, and a corner. Playing a little man out there on the corner. That's an interesting look. Go back to Burst. First again. down, picked up four. Yeah, he just fought so, his way in there. He's listen. an impressive little back. He's not... Had a he had a not non productive first half, but man, they're they're starting to run it though, Jeff. Yep, I mean, again, they are. with two twelve to go in the third, down two scores, you can continue to pound the ball a little. And they're only going to have a couple more opportunities. You got to think though, so they've got to take advantage of these drives. And your D linemen are going to get tired. I mean, that just yeah. They're just, they're um, just the one to thing wear is that uh, there are some subs over here that uh, that they can work. You got Zach No standing over here on the yeah. side. They got a couple guys you can run in and out if you're the Bruins. Decker. Yeah, he may be out there. He is out there. Is he out there? Okay. There's the give to Burris again, uh, trying to push the pile. Not so much that time. Tucker Walters, number 64. I think that's Carson Lamoth, number 70. Both of the big fellas yeah. wearing him out. Two-yard gain for Burris. He's definitely being more successful in this half. He is. He's um, much, much I've got half. him for five carries for about 18 yards. First half was seven carries, 11 yards. So they are gaining some yards, which is putting them in better down and distance situations. Uh, quick play throw. action pass, quick throw out the left flat. Pendergraft. He caught that and uh, so still short of the first down. This is a little different here, Jeff. So I'm going to give him – Six yards on that third and two. That'd uh, be about right. Yeah, you're, you're, six yeah, yard uh, completion there to uh, to Pendergraft, his ninth catch of the ball game. Way to go, uh, um, Jackson Pendergraft. But what they did, what they're doing there is they're going. He, Pendergraft's been playing in the slot. Right. They went trips to the right and put Pendergraft left. They obviously want to go to him. Right. So exactly. they, they isolated him for that play specifically. Yeah. Uh, took him out of the slot and put him at the wide out, which he's, he's at the wide out again. He's a good athlete. Quarterback. Oh, oh fake. And they go to Pendergraft. First right down. Right across the middle. Ooh, that was he really did. sharp, Jeff. Wow. What a great play. Yeah, I mean, the design of that play is obviously that he's running when he catches the ball. And had he not fallen down, he would have. I don't know, about uh, 12 yards, Jeff, he, you think? Yeah, yep. Yeah, he, he I mean. Give him 12 on that. That was he pretty he, good he, cover. It, there was. It was good D. And uh, he had to go down low to catch yeah. that ball, so he lost his balance. But 
he could have run to the house. So with the, that. the cool thing there was it looked like a quarterback running play. It does. And he, he started up, to. It's kind of like the just, old Tim Tebow run up in yep, the line and, and then, then jump up hitched. and throw, but he didn't jump. Yep, he didn't. He hitch. just he just pulled up and yep. threw the football. Yep. So it's really impressive. cool play. The old jump pass design. There's Burris again on first down. Man, they're going a lot of bursts on first down. Two yeah, or three. I think he's got three that time. So they're setting themselves up for with Burris being a little more effective. Uh, for more manageable yardages, second and eight, second and seven, second and six kind of yardages. 26 seconds to go here in the third quarter. As they continue to run the ball, though, they're running yeah. a lot of clock. They're they, going to have to score really on this one and score on their next one to get back in this thing. Yeah. They're just going to let it run out here. They're not taking They're taking their time. They're, yeah. they're, they're calling a play and going to the line, but there's 10 seconds now. So they're, uh, they might get it off here. Uh, yeah, they're going seven, to Seven, six, five. There it is. Looking to throw the football. Two is open down here. They should have thrown the uh, hitch. He's got nothing. Wow, that was a bad decision uh, and a great play. He caught him, but he fell out of where's bounds. Where's the referee? He fell out of bounds. But were his feet in? Holy cow. There was There's nobody no over referee there. no, in there, the area. No, there was no where's ref the to side see that. judge? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, He's back in the up line here. of scrimmage. Yeah, you got them all back <sighs> here. Because this guy came all the way over from the hash mark. Yeah, yeah, he ran a deep cross, like a sail route. Right, so there, um, was, there was no way that ref was seen. Well, he should have looked front side. He had number two, right, uh, which is Luke Humphrey, who's caught a couple passes tonight, open on a hitch route where the other two had run a deeper route. And then I didn't see who that was that came all the way across. But I did man, not. Man, I thought he caught that ball and had his feet down. I, he did catch it, but it, he was out of bounds before he got control mm. of it. Ooh, close one. Man, so that leaves great us play. now with a third and seven. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ball on the 29. That would have been about a 30-yard uh, <laughs> touchdown play. Yeah. All right. Well, here third we go. Third and seven from the 29. Let's uh, do a couple reads here. Etownapartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Take a virtual tour today at etownapartments.com. For those who are serving our country in the military, a discount is available. Etown Apartments is a family-owned and operated management service with over 30 years of combined experience. Waddell's Auto on Scrap Metal Recycling, a family-owned business with competitive prices, pickup service, and a friendly staff available for your recycling needs. Located at 311 Steel Drive in Elizabethtown, call 270-982-7206 to talk to someone about scrapping metal and recycling. West Point Bank has five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point, or find us online at westpointbank.com. Let us help make life simpler. West Point Bank, hometown banking made simple. Fourth quarter getting underway, 29-13 Bruins. Colonel's driving. Got it at there the 29, go. Jeff. What uh, are trips. they going to do? It was trips. Uh, number one, uh, Coyne Banks is going to come over here and join number eight, uh, Mason Bridgman, to the left. Ooh, motion out, empty backfield. Man, He's running back man. was open. Oh, He's deep out. Pendergraft. Pendergraft was wide open in the flat. Beautiful. He cut right through the zone and got – and. Uh, Split that defense and was perfect. Going to give him a 23-yard gain wow. on the play. That uh, was a beautifully, fantastic, beautifully designed mm -hmm. play. So the first time we've seen them go motion from the back, and that just kind of widens the outside yeah, linebacker did. and opens the hole. That was just yeah. a deep out by the uh, by the slot receiver. Pendergraft, Pendergraft back in the he, slot. He came right in behind that. Boom! Yeah, yeah. So great, great play design. Great throw from Davis, who is an accurate passer, that's for sure. First and goal, and there's a flag. Yeah, anytime anybody gets something going, let's flag them for it. Offsides, I believe. I think the call on the Colonels is good football by the Colonels. No, did they jump? Yeah. They yeah, jumped. They did. False they start. Jumped. They jumped. They I'm jumped. just giving them a hard time again. They jumped. Uh, good job there, uh, Zebras. You, you guys uh, that had that one correct out you gotta there. Got to call good that. Good work. Yeah, yeah, yeah they called it. Got to call it. So instead of first and goal from the six, now it's first and goal from the 11. 11 27 to go here in the fourth. Man, that's so costly, Jeff. These oh, guys got to have a score right now. It changes right everything. Now. I mean, it, it takes yeah. you to another page yeah. in the playbook, right? You can't just go Burris, Burris, Burris. You got to figure something out now. Um, from, you know, first and goal from the six, you probably could have tried to jam it in there. They're having a little more success with that. The Bruins are still in their too deep look. They haven't gone to their goal line look yet. Oh, fade yeah, route, corner. touchdown, Colonels. Number two, Luke Humphrey from 11 yards. Yeah, corner. Beautiful fade route. Way. Well, so, again, cover two, if your corner is squatting in the flat 
and your safety's sitting on the hash, and you're only throwing a 10-yard ball there, the corner's got to get underneath that. Yeah, absolutely. The corner can't let that guy just run by. It's the number one receiver. It's the guy yeah, right in front absolutely. of him. Absolutely. He he's got to get some depth and not let that guy run by him. That is certainly – uh, a play you have to make out there at that corner spot. Again, you think, oh, I've got flat coverage. Well, on the 11 yard line, I mean, you got to you got to get a little depth. You can't run a let that no, number one run by you. Got to have the two point conversion now. 29, 19, a 10 point ball game. Trajan Davis doing that same play. Oh, oh my goodness! Off Pendergraft's hands. He had him open. Yeah, he did. Uh, but he was just mm. doing a little bit behind him. And, uh, and well, it was actually out in front of Jeff. So what I saw on the stretch. route, did you see Pendergraf hesitate? Yes, and that was his problem. Correct. And so it looked like the quarterback found him and made a decent throw. Pendergraf kind of hesitated, like he couldn't see the quarterback, didn't know where the ball was coming from. I don't know that he could. Got confused uh, yeah, and, and think, slowed yeah. instead of continuing to it's, run. It's hard to tell from that angle yeah. where we were, but I don't yeah. think he had a great mm -hmm. grasp of where uh, Davis was. Yeah. Well, so they, they faked the little run up in the line and he and he yeah. pulled up again to throw that slant route to the to the slot receiver and he's open again, man. He they're is. they're finding some success with so that. So here we are uh, with uh, almost a full fourth quarter to go and um, ten Ooh. point game. All right. Well, the good news for the Bruins is still a two score game. That it that even though uh, they gave up a touchdown right there, they're still ahead two scores. That. Um, uh, Ability to stop the two-point conversion there has kind of given them still. They've got a, a wide margin here at 29-19. Right. 11 minutes to go. They'll get the football. It's Carson Weiss to kick it away. We'll see what uh, Coach Boston has up his sleeve defensively here as he's made the right moves he offensively. He totally has. Super impressed with uh, with Henderson County's, uh, you know, coming There it is. Oh, That's what he's got up his sleeve as a pooch. Oh, oh man. That Ooh, they were about two yards from close. getting that. It, it was, was number close. four, Jace Hicks, flying really, up the sideline. Really that, nice effort. That pooch kick was about two yards too far. Yep. I mean, it beautifully executed, actually, and just so yep. hard to do that. But He kicked it to the opposite field. Really the Central nice. Martin kids were standing watching it. Yeah, they weren't moving. They didn't it. move a bit. They, which means they were caught completely oh, off guard. Oh, completely off guard. And I'm sitting here thinking, well, what's Coach Boston going to pull? Well, that's what he's trying to pull. Yeah. And, uh, man. Consequently, nearly uh, for them now, we've got really good field position. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is always Get the, the ball where it goes out of bounds on that deal. Risk tight reward. Tight formation. Two tight ends, one wing, two backs. Trying oh, to run man. just lead straight ahead. Bad man. idea there. Yeah, uh -oh. it really was. Grayson oh. Decker uh, rolled up a little bit. He's up. He's limping a little bit. He's up. So they tried to go to Mason Gardner just with a straight, old-fashioned lead play. Yeah, number ISO. nine uh, came in there and uh, around the end. Oh, yeah, Jack Ryan Rush uh, Jack Ryan, all over he it. came right in around the end and stopped him before he got back to the well, line of scrimmage. They've had success out of their spread looks. To go to a double tight end wing look here is an interesting maneuver. Here they are in it again. It's kind of overbalanced to the left. You've still got two tight ends right. set. Coming back the other way with the counter this time, nothing. 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 Uh, you know what I need to be looking at, Jeff, is the, how the defense is lining up to this now. I think it's allowing the defense uh, to to stack up right. and uh, go to more of a goal line look against that double tight end, and that may be the issue. But, man, they are just two stuffs right now. Yeah. 55 Lead is stuff. Yusuf Sanogo Kendrick checking in up front. A little bit of a bigger D lineman coming in. 32, Myron Wright checking out. That's for the Colonels. Third and 10 now after two uh, no-gain run plays for Mason Gardner. His last three runs, one yard, zero yards, zero yards. Now they're back in a spread look. Tight end right. Empty set. Gardner, there's going to be the counter play again. Spurrier oh trying God. to break Spurs a tackle. Man, that's down. a great tackle. It really was. 24, is that 24? Yeah, number 24 brought 24 it. is Eli Green. About and half Spurrier's size. You've got a 6'3", 225-pound quarterback. Actually, it was number 34. Was it 34? I think so. Well, I don't know. No, so I don't that's think so. Okay, yeah. But it's a little 24. 24 yeah, he's a little guy. He, he, wow. So what a great play by him. Three, uh, just a two-yard gain. Three and out. Man, that was that's, – 100% what Henderson County was so looking listen, for. So Jeff, they, they, the, the after Central's touchdown, the long touchdown run, they've gone into this stall tactic, slow it down, try to run clock. They haven't got a thing. Like two series, three and out, about four yards in two series. They've got to get back to some tempo and moving totally the football. Do. 
uh, great punt there. They did yeah. not field the punt and rolled 20 yards. It's kind of like the offensive Ugh. version of the prevent defense. And uh, yeah. prevent defense prevents you from winning. Exactly, yeah. Well, there's uh, and there's an example again of not catching the ball as a uh, punt returner. And honestly, what I would do when I was a special teams coordinator or a head coach, we, we usually put two guys deep on punt which is not something you see very often because people are concerned that you're going to give up the fake. Right. And right. we're playing everybody else defensively pretty much at that point. Right. But two guys to catch the punt, so someone's fielding it. We'll fair catch it every time, but we're not giving up 10 to no, 15 yards no. of roll every time. So I always had two guys back. They had to learn to communicate and work together, uh, but that's just a lot of practice time. All right, they've got it at their own. Back uh, up to their goal line, own really. eight. Oh, caught oh, from behind. Oh, my gosh. Noah, Noah Payton. Payton came in there from behind and took him down. I mean, I don't know if he even got past the line of scrimmage. He did not. So Trajan Davis was kind of working slowly to find a hole, and, uh, yeah, Noah Payton got caught from the backside of the play. Nice. May have been a blitz, Jeff. Uh, the, for, for Payton to react that quick would be crazy from that outside linebacker spot. They may have been sending him. Yeah. High defense uh, set up in a – again, they're back to their three-man front here on second down and ten from the eight. Two deep safeties. He's got Looking him. down He's got the field. No. Two guys on him there. Caden yeah. Taylor at corner they underneath. Can, they cannot leave him alone. I yeah, yeah Pendergraft, you got to find He's got to put somebody on him. Yeah. And uh, with Jackson Engstrand on the coverage over the top. Number 13 checking in at safety. Number 13 is Mason Smith. So Mason Smith on the field. Jackson Engstrand is third down and 10. Another incomplete pass there. This is a huge play for both sides. Again, a two-score game with 7.53 to go. Henderson's got to get this ball down the field and score it. Oh, oh knock away, fumble. Knock away, fumble. Central ball. Wow. Yes. Who is that? 44, McKay How Payton about that? with a strip sack. The Payton brothers are on it tonight, sir. McKay Payton strip sack. I, don't, I didn't see one who got yard the recovery. Line. It totally may have, did. May have I, been Lamoth. I do not know if Payton got the. Uh, no, he didn't get the recovery. He Somebody else not. jumped on it, but wow. uh, great wow. job. Strip sack, uh, uh, McKay Payton. So Noah and McKay each have a sack. How quickly and those are big plays. Master. First and goal at the one. And he is in. Touchdown. Touchdown, Bruins. There we go. And just like Mason that. Mason Gardner from one yard out. Changes everything. So, folks, with 7.41 to go, if you're sleepy right now, you can go to bed. It's all right. It's all right. That's. I'd rather you just sit up and listen to us talk about football. There you go. That's a bit but of a dagger over. right there. That's, that's a dagger. A, that's a dagger right there, guys. 35-19, point after a, a pending here. Micah Chenault, hold by Zach Spurrier. No problem. Right down He's the middle. Good, good job, Micah Chenault. You Micah's know, looking good out there. So, yeah, you, you lose Case Van Blindberg, you wonder what you're going to have, but I, Chenault's looking good. Rare the rare do you have two two back you know back back up, to back back like, to back good you know we used like to that. have a bunch of them uh, here at Central. Yeah. It's it's you know even before last year they had a great kicker so. What um, coincidence, when you have a really good soccer program at your school, you usually have good kickers. Amazing how that works. I mean, I guess. <laughs> and th those, these boys have been, uh, yeah. both of them. Soccer players. Um, man, I'm trying to remember the uh, kicker before Case. We had a great kicker for three years in a row. He was area yeah. kicker of the year. What's wrong with me? I'm 53 years old, Jeff. I can't remember a kicker from you four, got, th four years ago. You got 10 years What's on that me. Guy's buddy, and so. He was a three years from his sophomore to senior year. Guy was a great kicker. Wow. Anyway, we, we've had a run, let's just call it that. You really have. Great and kickers. Awesome. And Chenault, just so you know, Jeff, uh, I know we're supposed to be talking to people out there watching us, but I'm just talking to yeah, you right now. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. So Micah's dad works at Magnolia Bank with, uh, with Jennifer. Oh, uh, how about that? Good people. Has Love been, those folks. Has he been texting you too? You no, 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 no. I haven't messed up Micah Chenault's name. <laughs> I, know I know all the other kids' names. It's my nephew whose name I don't know, and he's got oh my, my last name. Oh, all right, that's, that's just, funny. Uh, if we could shut it down if right now, we should up after that. If you mess up family names, <laughs> you're going to hear about that. 
No, they don't. They're not watching. They live in Georgia. This they don't know true. what's going on. It's my wife that's wearing me there out, you Jeff. Go. That's all right. It's all good. All that's right. her job. So Mike is going to line it up. Chenault's ready. 7:41 to go. 36-19. Uh, comfortable Man. lead. He has a huge approach on this. 17 ball. point advantage here. The run up, great kick. It's uh, gonna go to about the three or the two. He's trying it. As they had to back up again to wow, catch here it. Here we go. Coyne oh my gosh, makes space. one great move and gets a lot of space. So Coy and Banks with a good return. Boy, There's a flag, of nice. course. Good return. There's a flag. Somebody was held or blocked in the back, as they always are. But and uh, we got number 53 limping off over here. Oh, Reese. Come on, Reese. Oh, man, he is not. He's holding he's, it. He's, he's in pain. I don't know if that's a cramp uh, or if he. I hope it's a cramp. It's it, not. It, it, his leg is in a really awkward position. Got over to the sideline. He's a tough kid, man. Maybe Love Reese Reinhardt. Had him uh, had him in class and uh, just a, yeah, it's a cramp. top quality kid. I hope so. That's that, That'd be great news. That's what Those things hurt, buddy. I'm man, telling oh you. Oh, yeah. They're just there's Some guys, they, you, you rub on it a little bit, and they go running back out there like nothing happened. Man, I feel like somebody shot me in the leg. Oh, yeah. The, the intensity of that pain when, oh, I mean, when your leg turns to a rock. You know what's really great is when you're asleep when that happens. Uh. <laughs> what in the uh. world? It's the Kill worst. Ya. It is the absolute worst. Well, <laughs> hopefully Reese is going to be okay. Jeremy Steakley, our wonderful trainer, is down there working on him. So I'm sure he'll have that worked out, whatever that is, here quickly. Trajan Davis, he's got some magic he's got to do here in the last seven minutes. Deep yeah, throw. Oh, there's, there's, there's all over. A That's flag. a flag. That's oh, a it was time. caught. Was I think the ball was caught, too. It was, and it was a big Caden time. Caden Taylor was, all, was draped on him, oh, so yeah. it was good he was coverage. Hanging on him. He just had a hold of him, but and uh, number two, number two uh, Luke Humphrey. Luke Humphrey just said, you know what, I'm going to catch uh, it. I'm going to catch it I'm anyway. I'm going to catch it. You 40 yard, me. no, 42 yard reception. You hang on me all night, I'm catching that ball. That's impressive. Well, Humphrey just caught the 11 yard touchdown pass a couple drives ago, so um, great throw and catch. The flag, wow. uh, it will be. Uh, Will be, I'm sure, declined after the 42-yard pass completion. One would think so. From uh, Davis to Humphrey. We'll just take that catch. Beautiful boy. Uh, Davis is racking up some numbers. I don't know if they'll come out of this thing with a uh, with a victory. It's not looking good for the uh, Colonels, but uh, you're seeing why this kid uh, is the uh, is the franchise, so to speak. He's a junior yeah. too. Oh uh, my oh, gosh! There's going to be another flag. Oh my gosh! Tucker He's Walters. He's helping him up. He's, he realizes. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, the reason they're gonna go throw the flag. So listen, he jumps off sides, you run over a guy. That's not a that's not a personal foul. No. He, he took his helmet and drove it into the kid. Yeah. After. Yeah. That's the personal foul. Now <laughs> I think he realized, oops, <laughs> so because he, he immediately him reached out to, to p help the guy up, and now he's holding his hands like, like well, what did I do? But he kind of drove his head into that. But you know what's impressive about that? Yeah. Did you, I mean, that get, because it was isolated since yeah. he was the only one moving, Tucker Walters. Yeah, the uh, the crowd, the Central Harden crowd and, and the coaches don't like it, and Tucker doesn't like it, but listen, you, don't, you can't go crowning the helmet into a kid's chin. And now there's another one. Now, and now someone else is talking garbage. Oh, okay, here comes Coach Mattingly. Coach Mattingly, by the way, is a weightlifting machine. Uh, don't get him angry at you. That is a large man. I'm sure he's played some football Look in at his him. life. Look at him. Yeah, listen, he is he's mad. fired up. It's 36-19, seven minutes doing? to go. you know, you got to have some poison. And, and, you know, this kind of lesson right here can really help you when you get in big games that are tight later in the season. Right. Uh, if you can really Keep get through to them, that this is not how you're going to do things. You've given them another first down right here. Well, a double. Uh, That's with a, some foolishness. It's a 30-yard penalty. It may be. I think you're right. I think you're right. By the time you add two personal fouls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy cow. So they had it after the long pass completion on the Bruin 49. Right. And uh, it was an offside on the, on the Colonels, but then the uh, personal foul, and then again the personal foul. Let's see where this – thing Matty is going to end up. Coach, coach wants to talk to the stripes. Yeah. He's like, I ah, forget it. Well, what are we doing here? He's going to talk to the boys. Hey, got to have more sense than that, folks. All right. Get your heads back and in again, the game, boys. Um, Tucker's a great kid, and that just uh, – nothing wrong with running the guy over when they're offside. Yeah, you, 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 you know, you bow the guy and up and so you fast. bowl him over. 
So he fast. He just kind of went a little head first into him, and that's what the back judge saw that I saw from up here that maybe some other folks did. He threw that flag. Well, just, yeah, the, the head just, his helmet just went into that kid like he's trying to grind yeah. him into the dirt. Which, which, that's which is what, what people used to, to do to me 20, Correct. 25 years uh, well, ago. You know, I it, mean, was, it was legal back then. Yes. Which is why that center might be just a little timid. I mean, when you line up against a guy like <laughs> Tucker Walters, I'm telling you, it gets in your head just a bit. Yeah, the guy just bowled you over and ground yeah, his forehead into in your head. chest. They, you don't forget about that. No. I mean, you can try, but you don't forget about that. Mm. It looks like they oh, Here they, they go again. Gonna, yeah, yeah, they, 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 are, they are supposed it. to go again. They are marching it off. They never uh, assessed it. They did. That's 30 yards. Yeah. Two of them. For a second there, I thought might have been a sideline warning, but uh, no. 36-19, 7 18 to go. We're in the middle of the flag fest. I don't know what um, what the numbers are on the penalties. That would be interesting to look at because it's yeah, been the, insane. The natives are getting restless yeah. down here on the central. Looking downfield, lots of time. Oh, there's Walter. Oh. Got him. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. He's going to now do. Oh, do a little dance. All right. Well, good. That way. Fire it up, boy. All right. <laughs> so, good play from Tucker Walters. He had he time. Yeah. Coverage, great. Yeah. You can't hang on to Tucker Walters all no, that time. And so, Tucker's He's now. Like, I'm going to get my 15 yards got back, a please. Yes, Can he I did. please have my 15 yards back? Thank you Let's very see. much. What did he get? About 10? Yeah, it was at least that. a 10-yard sack, so minus 10 for Trajan Davis, who's had a great uh, second half running the football uh, on the sack here. And so they're back on the 33-yard line now. Two receivers to each side, two deep safeties. Quick hitch to the side. Number two, uh, Luke Humphrey. It's been Luke Humphrey yeah. in the second half. He gets about eight. Yeah, he's not back to the original yeah, seven. I'm giving him yet. seven. Yeah. So Humphrey's got four catches here in the second so half. It was third. all uh, Pendergraft in the first half with six catches. Of course, he's got five more in this half. Third and 11. Well, Pendergraft only had four catches in the first two games. Is uh, got 12 has 12 catches tonight. Humphrey now has five catches. Man, uh, like I said, Trajan Davis is running up some numbers. 5.57 and counting, Jeff. Tucker Waters down here. Again down the middle. Oh, oh he dropped it. That was six right there, baby. Same play. They go yes, to they Burris. Did. They went to Burris instead of Pendergraft. But, but that's the running back down the middle oh, that he right. scored yeah, on before. Was, that is true. It was the same play. He splits the safeties exactly as right. the safeties are chasing and, these uh, and, uh, slot receivers. And he was just as wide open. Oh, man. they they Yeah, they can't find him. They, you need to – You've got to put a spy on him to do that, well, and you can't do it, that. It's the Tampa 2, which is where the middle backer drops to about 20 yards. Okay. That's what the Tampa cover 2 was that the uh, that the Buccaneers made famous. Um, I don't have that in my playbook when I'm a defensive coordinator, so I'd have to figure something else out, like maybe rotating my coverage or something to find. Oh, bad Gosh. snap. He's got it. Looking sideline. Going back to him. Touchdown, Body Colonels. Was he what are they the, waiting to call? There it is. And is. guess who it is? It's Burris, Burris comes from 26 back yards. Side. So, yeah. listen, Jeff, that is 26-yard touchdown after Two a 28 Two touchdowns yards. tonight so for listen, Burris. So, listen, that's the play that happened down here in right? the first half with Correct. the wheel route from the running back up the sideline. You run off the corner in the safety. You run that wheel, and they don't find the run. They're not finding the running they back on anything him. right now. He, yeah. he's, he's coming out he of there. Is, he is wearing Man. a cloak of invisibility. As far as they're concerned. <laughs> Here, not Harry Potter's it. calling the plays, uh, <laughs> it seems. <laughs> what? Uh, Davis, funny. touchdown, two-point conversion, yes. that is. Two-point conversion for Davis now, 36-27. It's a nine-point ball game. I'm not sure what the two-point conversion got you there, but. With six, uh, with four, five forty-five left. Five forty-five left. That was you, no dagger. Boy, this uh, this kickoff return team for the Bruins had better have their eyes open and be ready to move. Maybe it's time to go to the old hands group. Um, it really should be because they're going to do something. They've already on tried this. one. Yeah, and that was a Nothing really effective try. Yeah, it was. And um, you know that thirty-yard penalty is haunting. It yeah. is just haunting. And uh, it fired up the Colonels, and um, they made good on it. So, well, again, 
you know, um, he's still down over here, number 53. That wasn't a cramp. Yeah, that's his dad there with him, Reese Reinhardt, uh, yeah. senior, uh, kind of a utility player. He's either hurt his knee or his ankle, uh, and it is severe. They're bringing when the – When he uh, came out, his ankle looked to me a little looked funky. like a little funky. Yeah. It was not a natural he, uh He has signed to play football at Tryon University up in Indiana. And uh, he wanted to sign early because he uh, just wanted to get it out of the way. And so I know he and his dad were excited about that. And he's, he's played some linebacker for this team. He's a special teams specialist. And uh, that was on a kickoff, wasn't it, that he, uh, that he got hurt was. trying to get off the field there. Yeah. Um, so Reese Reinhardt, everybody, uh, number 53. Uh, hearts go out to him and hope uh, he'll, be, uh, he'll be good. We'll uh, hopefully have news on him at some point, um, either – Tonight or in the weeks to come. I hadn't looked down there to see yeah. looking a while, and I just yeah. saw the gurney coming up the yeah. track. Well, it's Weiss to kick off. Oh, there yeah. goes the – oh, he's not going to get there. He never got the 10 never yards. Never got the 10 yards. So, uh, yeah, that's the old Indianapolis Colts deal where they uh, – where, where old uh, kicker for the Colts. What was that guy's name who has the uh, big podcast now? He would do that a bunch. Oh, um, uh, Oh, the punter? He was the he punter, was a and, the punter and a kicker, yeah, and, he, and, um, he, and he did oh that goodness, successfully like, several I was times. Just, he, he, just, yeah. he just gave a challenge to T.J. Watt, no, you're saying kidding. if you get um, – it was uh, – I can't remember how many – said if you get that many sacks this year, uh, I will uh, give $500,000 to your charity of your choice. And, oh, what is his name? I'm going to get it. Because he's – yeah, he's an announcer. First and 10 for the Bruins on the 47, make it the 48 of the Colonels. Great field position after the uh, attempt that did not it's a nice work. nice little yardage there. Oh, good run it's from about, Walker yeah. Meredith. About seven yards. Yep. Six seven, or seven there, yards. good. That's the kind of running we need. Really would be nice to get a score on this. Pat McAfee. Pat, Pat, yeah, that's, that's the old Pat, Pat McAfee, McAfee play, and he uh, he was successful on that several times. But you got to get it kicking it, it down yards. the middle and uh, chasing it yourself. You got to get it. Give to Walker Meredith again. Same play, other way. First down. It's about a and a flag. Four yard uh, gain for Walker, for uh, Walker Meredith there. Four fifty one to go. All coach wants to do is run the clock here by running the football and uh, flag. And there's uh, somebody down, and they're calling for. Oh, man, it might be Walker. Here comes the training crew. Nope. He popped up. Hobbling off a bit. Training crew back to the sideline. It's good to see Walker up. Usually not good when they're immediately calling for the, uh, for the trainers to come out, but uh, everything good there. The penalty, though, um, holding call is going to bring it back to about the 49, make a second down and a long 11, almost 12. 4.49 to go again, 36-27, a nine-point game. And all Coach Mattingly wants, uh, along with Coach Engstrand, the offensive coordinator, is to run the clock. So uh, they are trying their best to continue to run clock. Coach Engstrand has done a great job calling offense here. And Second and 11 at the 49. Spurrier looking to throw it on second 11. Got guys all over him. He's going deep here to Brandon Lee. Lee coming back for it. There's a flag as, as, he, as the ball was underthrown. Uh, number one, Coyne Banks was trying to stop him from coming back to the ball, and that's always going to be a, a – a, in a pass interference call, and Coyne Banks may be pleading his case, but it's an obvious pass interference call there. Great job by Spurrier just to get it off. Not a very accurate throw. Again, just late. Uh, you've got to get it out on those deep balls earlier. Timing on that is essential, but that will give them a first down and 10 from a second and 11 situation to give them an opportunity to have another set of downs to run the clock. 
4.23 to go here in the fourth quarter. Give to Mason Gardner over the left. Again, there was a guard pulling, so kind of a buck sweep look. Four yards maybe, three, four yards, and uh, bring up a second down and a long six. Meredith checking back in. That's good news for the Bruins. Brandon Lee checking out. Under four minutes and counting. Colonels uh, desperate to get a stop here. They've got two timeouts remaining. Haven't used those yet. It's got to be coming up here soon. Tight bunch to the left. They're looking to throw screen to the right. Engstrand's got it. Jackson upfield. Good throw and catch. Good play on second and six. It looks like whew, they're a half yard short. Mm. Got about five. I thought he'd picked it up, but it's just short. Um, it's down to the, just over the 25. You need the 24 to get it, so they're just a – handful of inches short of it. Oh, they're going to move the chain now. They told, said third down, and now they're going to give him the first down. 320 and counting here, and if they can continue to run the ball, complete passes, they're on the 24-yard line, but if they can continue to move it, give on the trap, nothing doing. Number 45 there right away. Uh, that is Jackson Wallace to make the play on the, on the trap. Trying to give it to Mason Gardner, so a loss of a yard there, second and 11. 2.52 and counting. We said when they took that 17-point lead that you could book it, and I think that was correct. But, again, you never know what can happen in a ball game, but the uh, Bruins are effectively running out the clock here. Uh, a little lane. They could have called a penalty there, but no penalty called. Good job, Stripes. Noah Payton that time with the football. They wanted to give the big kid the football. And um, timeout now called by Henderson County. We were waiting for when that would start. And uh, Payton may have lost a yard, picked up a yard. Um, interesting spot. No gain. Third so and 12. Third and 12 with 224 remaining. Uh, special thanks to our HCEC TV crew, uh, Ron Hartley, John White, Jackson Houston, and Gerald Walker. Thanks to you guys, students and staff, for the hard work you've done and, and uh, bringing the action. Uh, Jeff and I just sit here and talk about those we guys. Do, you know, those we'll guys make it happen. Make, make it work. We appreciate you doing all Absolutely. the heavy lifting and yep. uh, sitting in the truck and on those nights when it's hot up there on the hot ceiling or cold because uh, we can do both gets, here. It in gets this. in November, buddy. It's yeah, nasty it up there on top of the there. press box. And uh, glad you yeah. had a nice evening to do it and seeing the beautiful moon in the background mm. back there. So and uh, still waiting to see. Um, Getting the young man up off the Reese, yeah, Reese. they still haven't gotten him onto the gurney, even though the yeah, gurney got there five or six minutes up. ago. Yeah, yeah, they're they're just trying to stabilize the leg to get yeah. him onto the gurney so they can get him to the hospital. Faking the screen, trying to go uh, deep. Oh, Spurrier that. breaks some tackle, oh, but no, fumbles the ball. The ball. I, think I think he, he got on it, back. it. No, still loose. I think he got it back. He did. He got so it they, back. So they wow. faked the screen and were trying to throw a deep ball wow. to, to Walker Meredith down the sideline. That was an amazing – I mean, he dove yeah. about three yards. Yeah. And McKay Payton is coming up limping as well. Can't lose guys like that. Mm. Timeout Henderson County after that brings up a fourth down and a lot. Fourth and With two minutes 16 left or 17. The They're going to get the ball back. Will the Colonels? They're down nine. If we, they were down eight. Yep. Um we do hmm. not, we do not have right a two-minute warning in high school football. So but there it is, pretty much. There it is. We just had one. Just had yeah. it. It's uh, by way of the last timeout for the for the Colonels. So, you know, you don't know what you, you – know, what, what do you do is, you know, when you're Coach Boston's shoes right here, this thing is over. You want – if you're Coach Mattingly, you just want your guys to be smart, to play this thing out successfully, yeah. to not uh, do anything silly. Of course, throwing the ball on the ground right there was not the best move ever. Uh, by Spurrier. Um, of course, you put him in that position by calling that play. I think right. you just run the ball again and kick it away right. or something. But uh, you got fourth and 18 now. Uh, but Coach Boston over on the other sideline, I mean, he's got to come up with uh, some some more tricks Yeah. Uh, in the passing game, obviously. Fourth and 18, they're going to go for it. You might as well. They may quick kick it. 
Now they're going to go ahead and throw it. They're deep in the other team's uh, territory. It's a comeback route. Good throw and catch, but it's just short. He, he, it is short of the uh, first down. They call it incomplete. It may have hit the ground. It hit the ground first, uh, yeah. Did so. it. He scooped it. All yeah. right. So, uh, so we're going to turn the gotta, ball listen, back over to him. Fourth and 18, and you're running the comeback, right? you got to yeah, get to the yeah. sticks on it. I mean, it, yeah, it's, you it takes throw it a long time. I, I'm sorry. I would have gone for the end zone. Just take or, a shot. Least, well, yeah, I mean, if you're I mean, going down there, because it basically it's kind of yeah. like a punt. It is. Or you're, yeah, I, I like that idea. Absolutely. You know, I mean, yeah. it's like it's like punting it, you know, because yeah. you're obviously out of field goal range. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I love finding the deep crosser in those kind of situations. Yeah. If you can run a drag and find a guy, you know, 12 yards down the field crossing. Yeah. Um, but part of it was uh, Spurrier was flushed out, so he yeah. didn't get to throw it the way I I'm, no, my no. guess is. He had guys all over him there. Yeah, yeah. So he was lucky to get it as far as he did. All right, Coach Boston's got. One minute 56. 156. And he has and no timeouts. No left. timeouts. He's going to have to score it, man. This is, uh, this is desperation time. So they're going to have to throw the football down the field a little bit. If you're Central Harden and you're in that defensive huddle right now with Coach Jackson. Yeah. And Coach Mattingly, you got to keep your eyes on Pendergraft a little bit, uh, and then, and then in the back out of the backfield, somebody you, spy the back. Yes, Bur uh, Burrow. Yes, and um, Burris. I'm sorry, Burris. Yeah. Yep. And then you've got to have somebody paying attention to Pendergraft. Yep. He's been, he's got 12 catches on the night. You can't um, forget about him. Burris has hit you down the middle several times. And if you notice here, uh oh, your favorite, the prevent. So we, we've got a. We've got a four deep look, or yeah, a four deep look with four under. Yeah, they're halfway to three Texas. man, three man rush. They got trips to that side, so they're shading the trip side a little bit, which is good. They're going to throw a little underneath uh, uh, drag and get some blockers in front. Great design, and he's still running. Wow, great job, Coach Boston. That's what he had in his bag of tricks there. Yeah, that three. Look at that. Is Takes that it all the way down. Who in the world's number three? Uh, uh, Max four. Thompson. Max. Max has uh, wow, been one of their receivers. He just hadn't caught a ball tonight. Play. But they get him the ball there on a drag. He's a tall boy. So, listen, that's great play design. The yeah, left wide receiver really nice. dragging. The guys on the front side running down the field. And then when he catches, they're blockers now. They're out in front. Yeah. they got two blockers in front. Great job. First and 10 from the 25. And still a minute 45. Minute 45, man. This thing is absolute. What in the world? Come on, boys. Davis looking downfield. He wants to throw it. He's got time. He's going to run. And they could have called a hold there. He's going to try to find the out of bounds and does. Smart play. Yeah, that was pretty much everybody he go had out. to. Everybody yeah, yeah. go out for a pass, and I'm going to drop back and pass it. Well, listen, if they can get this thing done here uh, um, in the next, you know, 30 seconds, the, the onside kick then becomes uh, very a real. very interesting play for this ball game. Huh. I mean, you could take it down to a two-point game. So, 44-yard pass from Davis to Max Thompson has the Colonels in position. Two receivers to each side. Quick throw on the Oh, uh, he had it. Yeah, he That's had That's Coyne uh, Banks. And Coyne, Coyne Banks, he got to get your head around Coyne. He comes he out of his him. break on a slant. Yes. And he doesn't have his hands ready and his eyes up, and the ball hits him right in the – basically in the face. That's great throw, uh, Davis, you got to get a little help out there. Receivers, come on now. Third and 11 now because, again, uh, on that first down play, Davis had to run out of bounds, lost a yard. Incomplete pass now to Banks. They do have – they obviously are going for it on a fourth down situation here unless they can kick a 43-yard field goal. They're running that same play. There's the deep out that they hit earlier in the and game. Got Great him. call. It's another catch. And he's hurt a little bit, and, man, what a smart play. Stay down, kid. Stay down because he got hit hard in the ribs, and this is going to stop the clock. The first down did, but this is going to give them a chance to set. He took a shot in the ribs, but that's a deep out. I mean, just beautiful it's, play it's design. Huge. Yeah, Yeah, it beautiful is. play design with the, with the outside receiver running deep. The running back goes wide to draw the outside linebacker out. And you've got a huge hole out there in, in yeah. the zone. And, man, he's wide open. Pendergraft again is who that was. Dude, 13 catches now. Man, he's having a Jerry Rice evening. Dude, give that kid a 
a helmet sticker or something. I don't know what they give people down in uh, Henderson County, but we used to give helmet stickers. That dude may have five of them by the time this thing's over. Trips to the left. Pendergraft to the right. And they're going to Pendergraft. No, they're not. He got somebody it. Somebody else. Touchdown, Colonels. That's actually number he three, went up Max in the air on a, It was a 50-50 ball, and he just went straight up so and got Pendergraft it. So Pendergraft was the one that was hurt, so he's not in the game. Right. That's Max Thompson, who had the 40-yard reception on the crossing route earlier. Where's Max Thompson been tonight? That gum guy makes two huge plays for this Colonel squad, and here they are, folks. Right in the 36, game. 36 33. You kick the extra point, coach. Two points doesn't do you anything. If you get the ball back, you still kick a field goal to win if you make this extra point. What's he doing going for two? Come on, Coach Boston. You've been brilliant for the entire evening, and this is not brilliant, but. You might get the two-pointer anyway, but it doesn't well, do you any more good than the PAT. Yeah, and it, it really does not make any difference. It gets you within what? They're going to fake it to Burris, and Davis has got it. He'll get in, or was he just short? He's, He's in. Short. What? Is good. Okay, is good. yeah, he put his hands up. So it's a one-point game. It's 36-35, so Davis gets in. Holy cow. But we are up 17 about seven minutes ago. Yeah, we're and not we thought we anymore. had the dagger. Juiced. There well, are no daggers. If it was the dagger, uh, it, it's we needed all of it. We needed every uh, single one. We needed every So the point. fumble down here that Henderson gave us, yes. that actually gave us, Noah Payton made the play. Yeah. That's the difference in the ball game right now. Noah Payton I, strips sack, and we get it on the one and score. And, ball game. And right? I remember earlier here it in, is. in the game we, yeah, an extra We don't point. have that. We're going to yeah. lose. And, um, and I remember that. You know, we went for an extra point rather than two, and we yeah. scored it. And I thought that could be a big deal, and yeah. here it is. Yeah, yeah. Still working to get Reese Reinhardt on the uh, stretcher. They've got the EM EMS is pulled up now to the ambulance to get him here. Um, all right, the Henderson County fans are uh, loving life right now. They're thinking this is, uh, hey, this is a ball game, and this is the ball game right here on this play with no timeouts left at Henderson County. They get it back on the um, uh, um, onside kick or the game's over because you snap it twice and the clock runs out if you're the Bruins. Um, maybe it takes three snaps, but probably just two. It's all right but here. But here, uh, here goes the ball game. They get this ball back right here, and uh, you got yourself a crazy one. Pooch again. It's going to be caught. He fair catches. Beautifully done. Everybody in position. Brandon Lee, number go. five, that just salted away. You know, he kicked it a little too far on that yeah. one. I, yeah. I would Downfield have, meaning? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think he just, just too far downfield because otherwise you get the – now we've got two gurneys out yeah, there. Yeah, I don't know how what the necess necessity is for two gurneys, but we have two gurneys. Um, and they're talking about the EMS, talking about how they're going to get Reese onto that thing. Maybe it may have an air cast on his ankle is what I thought yeah, I saw. Yeah, that's what I wondered if yeah. there was. I think mm -hmm. there, it, the it, the gurney that was down there wasn't the right one. Well, the gurney, I think, was our gurney here at Central Hard. Ah, and I think this correct. is the one that came out of the back of the. Uh, However, they look exactly alike. They are the same thing. We could have traded. But it's ours and theirs. There you yeah. go. Yeah, yep. And I hate to see this yep. senior. Mm -hmm. You know, that's uh, won both weeks in a row now. Yep, yep. And uh, sad yep. night. Well, um, they're going to get him. They've got him on the uh, stretcher there. And, and um, best wishes to Reese, prayers to Reese and his family. And, uh, again, a great kid. Uh, had him in class a couple years back, real close with him. Talked to his dad before the game. His dad's down there in the light blue shirt and the yellow stitching. So, um, Ball cap. Ball cap. That's, that's dad. And... Um, so for all intents and purposes, unless we're just taking a uh, unless uh, Herm Edwards is playing safety for the <laughs> Colonels, if anybody gets that reference from the uh, the miracle at the Meadowlands, oh where Herm Edwards picked up a fumble from the Giants in the last few seconds when the Giants were goofy back. and ran it back, uh, this thing is over. All uh, we have to do, is Spurriers, uh, take a couple snaps and take a knee. 105 and counting down. It may be that he needs to take three knees based on. If they'll take a while to um, so uh, Reese being put into the ambulance, the whole crowd going crazy for him.
John Wright, our PA announcer, giving him uh, giving him some love here. Um, that'll probably be his last they, ball they game as a Bruin. To, so they that's had to the cut his. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. a sad sight, man. So mm -hmm. in the midst of that, uh, you've got celebration going to start here on the field as uh, Spurrier does the best play in football victory formation. You take a knee. And celebrate with your there friends. We well, what a game. Woo! Man. Buddy. Uh, we said we, maybe close. We jinxed us. We did. We it was said our fault. Close. There it is. We wanted something close and fun, and, and, and man, was that close and fun. 36, but at least we got the win. Well, the Bruins looked great throughout most of that game. They did a great they job. Did, they, they, they had some breakdowns defensively there in the second half is what happened. They lost some coverage responsibilities. And Trajan Davis is a great football player. Oh, no, he really is. And, uh, and those receivers have come into their own. I, I would be surprised if you don't go on in the season, if you're the Colonels, and have those kids just making plays everywhere. Because they Absolutely. got to do it tonight. They know they can do it. Yeah, and um, Pendergrass came on, and then yeah. you had a couple of guys in the end. And then Burris produced. You know, Burris with two long touchdown catches. Yeah, really. Pender, Pendergraft with uh, 13 catches on the night. Luke Humphrey. Uh, had uh, five catches, four in the second half, one for a touchdown. And then certainly at the end, Max Thompson with a touchdown catch and a 40-yard catch as well. So the whole crew came through for the uh, Colonels. I think Coach Boston came through in that second half. Uh, it looked Maybe like his, uh, his boys were – he needed to open it up that first half. He was still just trying to run the ball downhill a bunch. And Not the working. big kids up front for Central were just wearing him out. They were. So congratulations to Coach Mattingly and the Bruins for – Hanging in there, uh, it was close, but man, made it two tight. and one. They needed that. Uh, they needed that they victory. Really it's a big rivalry game against a great football team that wins double digits games almost every year Absolutely. down there at Henderson County. So, uh, great credit to them. And um, again, I want to thank our sponsors, thank the guys in the truck, all of our crew uh, for all they do to bring you this action. Thanks, Jeff Knoll. I'm Paul Gray. Good night, everybody.